All right, everybody, we're we're back at it again. We're trying to keep these episodes coming to you as quick as we can, as often as we can. I have had a lot of people uh, kind of get on to me a little bit. They want to hear more. They're tired of listening to the same ones over and over. And man, that makes that makes me feel good. It makes me uh makes me and Nate really want to buckle down and, and get busy. And uh, and by God, we have we have uh we have interviewed quite a few people in the past couple months, and we have. We we done uh we just done one with Randy Durrell right before we went to Uncle Earl's and we we ran out of battery and so we kind of cut it a little short there even though it was a good segment so we're gonna pick back up with Randy we already got him on the phone uh, and we're we're gonna kind of pick back up uh, this will be a part two um, so and and where we had left off we were talking about the the old dogs versus the new new bay dogs and the points and uh you know which dogs were yeah. all time leading dogs and stuff so um but yep. since then man we we've done went to uncle earl's and added points to it and won some more trophies and plaques and you've been busy yeah man. oh yeah man we had a had a real good time at winfield you know which is always gonna be a good time uh but uh we yeah i was actually listening to the podcast you have already released the first one i was listening to it on my way to work this morning yeah i was about, I was about uh i don't know seven eight minutes shy of finishing it off before uh i ended up having to walk in my office you know and actually pretend like i was doing something there you go <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah I, I, I hope i don't have any listeners i work with i got you <laughs> it could be like rodney bell man he uh he, he'll he'll put the podcast on and he's got him a little speaker set up in in, yeah. his, in his office and he hooks it through the computer and yeah. he'll have that thing crunk wide up wide open and when it's another podcast and i'm talking shit about rodney you yeah. know and i don't tell him about it um yeah everybody in his workplace gets to hear it and he gets to turn oh. red faced and gets embarrassed and all that so i mean that's what friends are for I could not imagine uh, a situation where Rodney got embarrassed. It's yeah, it, you know it has to be pretty tough because yeah, you uh, gotta be you gotta be hard on him to get him embarrassed. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he has too many things he cares about in this world. No, no, no. Rod, Rod's a he's he's a special guy. That's my that's yeah. my partner right there, man. He's he's something. But anyway, yes, yeah, maybe 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 ain't got nobody listening yet. Sooner or later, we'll have everybody <laughs> in the whole world listening. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the, it's the only way to get anything going, man. Uh, you know, a lot of people, when I first started doing all the social media, everybody thought I was just a freaking idiot. You know? Yeah. And uh, 90 plus thousand followers later, that's uh, right. I think, I think we, we just inched up 100,000 uh, over the over the week of Uncle Earl. Really? So, uh, yeah, he. Got another ten thousand over that week. Well, congratulations, man! That's a that's a milestone for a, for a, for a damn saying. bay dog, dude. That's something. Yeah, a hog dog. Yeah, who would have ever thought a hog dog would have a hundred thousand people in this world following him? He's got, you know, professional football players. Traylon Burks, that uh, number one wide yes. receiver for uh, he was drafted number one uh, for Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Uh, Trent Cole. Uh, Mike Murphy, like I'm talking about, like retired UFC Hall of Famers. Really? I mean, not UFC, NFL Hall of Famers. NFL, yeah. yeah. He does have a, he does have a, a UFC follower? Uh, two of them. Uh, oh gosh, dog. Uh, Arkansas boy. Oh, Thug Nasty. Uh, Mitchell Bri- Bryce. Bryce. Bryce Mitchell. Thug yeah. Nasty. Yeah. Really? He He's follows one, Goose. He follows Goose and uh, Bryce Mitchell follows oh, yeah. Goose, Nate. That's that's fuck, that, dude. That's, that's awesome. That? <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah, badass. I, yeah, Bryce Mitchell. I, I made a video, and what happened? How it happened was I had a video, and it was uh Bryce Mitchell. Remember he did? He was doing that interview with the UFC, and he said he was said he said uh he was basically talking about like if the war came like he, I ain't going to fight some war, but if this war come on Arkansas soil, I'm gonna dig my boots in the ground, and I'm gonna you know, and I'm gonna stand here and hold my own until I die. So, yeah, like I'm. Gonna, he was saying that and then had the Gangster Paradise song playing in the background. And I played that clip right in front of one of Goose's clips. And uh, I said, well, Thug Nasty, see this? And then he replied, he commented back, I see you, brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool, yes, sir. Man. 
it, 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 man, it's, uh, it has been surreal. I, I don't know. I mean, like, the the people that, you know, people, uh, J.B. Mooney's followed. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I knew that, yeah. You know, obviously, Aaron Bob, which uh, me and Aaron Bob, he actually came to Earl's. And, oh, did y'all? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. We, did, we haven't talked about this. So, Aaron Bob. Yes, yeah, we can say you got to get into that. Him and Elijah, uh, Elijah Gore. Gore, yeah. They, they showed up. Now, Elijah Gore, right, right now, he's in the running for the rookie of the year in the PRCA standings. Well, mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. showed up. Like, literally, we're we're getting in my buggy, loaded goose up, loaded fanboy up, and we're headed to the pen to go make a run. And uh, he's like, oh, y'all fix a run. So if they all jump on, come up there, and uh, goose and fanboy get a perfect score. And uh, Elijah and Ernbob climbed the freaking fence and did a backflip. You know, yeah. they call them the backflip bandits. Ernbob's always every every time he covers a bull in the PRCA, he climbs the fence and does a backflip. Yeah, him and Elijah Gore both did them. <laughs> yeah, that, I seen that. That was that was pretty cool. <laughs> Man, it was. That's, I mean, you know, w- w- you know, it's just one of those things that it's starting to, you know, it's it's getting more important. It? Like, yeah. You know, now we got two RCA bull riders. Uh, you know, one day I hope this shit's on Cowboy Channel. You know? Yeah, that'd be. I mean, and like you said, it, you know, there's people have different points of view about it. Um, and, and I and I get all points of view. I really do understand it. But at the uh, same exactly. time, it, and and I know you do too. You know, it's like we mm-hmm. you you understand it. it can anything that's not in a positive light can can cause just a detrimental effect. But right. I don't see where you're putting anything out in a negative light. You know, no. it, it, you're bringing attention, but it's good attention. Um, right. And, out, but, and what we do, what we do, you know, like you, there's no, no matter what, there's certain <laughs> types of people in this world that are never going to be accepting to what we do. Exactly. They're, they're, they don't and care and you can't change their mind. It doesn't know. It doesn't matter how good of a light we, 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 we shed on it or bad, because just like anything, they're trying to take rodeo away. They're yeah. still fighting those battles. Oh, I know. It's it's insane. And, and 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 we are we are basically no different than rodeo. Mm-hmm. What, what we we have professional staff sitting there to make sure that these animals don't get hurt. You know, <laughs> uh, we've got rules in place to protect both hog and dog. Like yeah. there, there's there's nothing that we're doing in that basin that would constitute what what they what they what they try to the light that they're trying to get. Yeah. I had a, I had a young man message me the other day. He's, he's wanting to, to, to come to an event. And he told me, he said, uh, he said, man, my, my dogs, he said, uh, after they bathe for a little while, they might try to get rough with, you know, he said, um, he said, will I get in trouble? And I was like, what, what do you mean? And he was like, well, you know, like, well, will I get in trouble? I said, no, you won't get in trouble for baying. He said, "Well, they disqualify the dogs." I said, "Yes." He said, "Okay." He said, "I, I, I want it." He said, "You know, I don't want my dogs to do that." Ultimately, he said, "But if they did," he said, "I, I would rather not even bring a dog." He said, "I would just come and support it instead of letting my dogs do anything to harm the animal." You know, so that that's a good outlook coming from somebody who who hasn't even done it. We'll be back after a quick break. We would like to interrupt this episode to take a moment to thank our sponsors and friends of Dixie Doggers Podcast, Southern Cross Cut Gear, Boars and Broads, Hardcore Hog Dogs and Cut Gear, Showtime Premium Pet Food, Animal Housing Solutions, Tuskers Magazine, American Dog Horn Association, 4L Kennels. Hogbang.com The Boar's Nest Crockett Taxidermy Mud Creek Hogbang A big shout out to all those people and companies who help make us who we are. Thank y'all. Right. Yeah, he's, no, just, he, he's just, he don't, he, he's have, he has a mindset of like, you know, I don't, like he's, he don't, yeah, he don't want to do nothing he's wrong. Worried, he's worried about protecting the stock. That's exactly However, right. And, However, what what a lot of these folks don't realize is that what they what you're used to seeing them doing in the woods can be a polar opposite of what they're going to do when they see when they get in their arena. Oh, dude, so, <laughs> yes, 
Because my yeah, wood dogs don't do worth the shit in a vape pen. <laughs> so, some, some do, some don't. Yeah. But the one thing about it is, you might have you, know, you got catchy, catchy woods dog. Mm-hmm. They in that <clears> arena, <throat> and the next thing you know, they're baying five feet back, and yes, they're like, hey, you know, like. But what 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 people don't understand, and they think, oh, these vape pen hogs, they've been they've been dog down, they've been this, they've been that. Them she vape pen hogs are so dog smart. That's the reason why that like they they speak a language. Them hogs are speaking a language that we don't understand. Yep. And them dog them dogs do understand. I, that's why I, I the agree. dogs they, they know when they know when the they know when they can get away with it and they know when they can't. Yep. That and, when, when you can tell when your dog when your dog respects that hog, and when they don't okay. re, and then when they don't respect that. See, I never paid attention to any. I didn't know any of that. And now, yeah. like, uh, we we pulled a hog and. I only ran Chaos and Junior, I think, one time a piece down there. But, man, Chaos, he didn't respect the hog. Like, you could tell he was just, like, lollygagging around. Normally, yeah. you know, he's just as solid. And now, once the hog kind of got got rough with him a little bit, well, he backed up and put his head in the game, and then he done what he's supposed to do. But That's you right. could tell right off the bat, like, he just wasn't, you know, he, he could read that language, like you said. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. we can't. That's exactly right. And people, like, you know, They'll say every run they take and they, and they they take away from what they get. Like I see it all the time. Like man, my dog's you know he's all in that hog's face and blah blah blah. You know he, I think I can he might be a lead dog now. Well that's just on that hog, brother. You got to wait to mm-hmm. wait till you see about ten more of them and see if you don't see the normal, you know that that normal dog that you're used to seeing. I mean it's just you can't take each every and every run and then bring that exact outcome to the next run. It's gonna be different. The hog's different. The scenario's different. His partner's different. There's a million different reasons why dogs act differently with certain partners than they do with others, and with certain hogs. So it's just they're gonna be, you know. You just, I know, I know what Goose is gonna do when he draws one that he can get away with acting. He's gonna get in his face, just breathe the same air that hog is, and he's going to put on a show. And when he buys one that is rough and nasty and mean, he is going to back up, and it's going to be a boring bait. He's going to back up, give him four feet, and just stare at him and walk. Yep. It's just that's just what they do, you know. I mean, what kind and, of? And, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I mean people. People will say, "Man, he he wasn't really baying like himself." I said, no, that's exactly how he baited. He yeah. just respected that hog. Yeah, <laughs> you know? he, he's baying appropriately for whichever hog he yeah. gets. Yeah, I always call it. They bay accordingly. The great ones bay accordingly. Yeah. Okay. So they, that, they, what what would you what would how what what some pointers and tips you recommend for some of these guys that are just getting started, especially the younger guys that are you know they're woods hunters uh, and they're really just coming into their own. They're getting their own dogs. They got a got their own pack going and they're wanting to branch into the bay pen world as well. What what kind of some tips and pointers could you to could you give a, some of these guys to to, well, to kind of help them out as far as like you know I know first off getting to the bay and all that uh, coming to the events but like when when they get their dog ready when they're on the on the grounds you know give give a scenario of what they need to do or what they should to do get, to help to get their dog ready well that's going to happen way before they get to the ground yeah you know. Uh, uh, well, that's going a, lot, a lot of them aren't going to put in. Well, that's what I'm saying. So when, once they get to the grounds, say because a lot of guys are going to be like, "Well, I hunt my dog all the time. He's ready," and and that's not the case. You know, I, I know that yeah. myself. But just for somebody who's just going to grab a dog out of the box and put it to work and get. I mean, we talking about a dog that's already getting the job done. Or we yeah, talking we, about we talking dog? about a dog that'll bay. That that yeah. that that'll bay for sure. The best. I mean, the, the, I mean, it, it's. It's hard for me to say what you're going to do right when you go up. Uh, what I try to do for, for all my dogs is I try to treat every scenario just like it was the first day we started practicing. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't like I don't like standing there. You know, a lot of people when you see them go to downfield, they'll walk up there to those little bleachers, a little bit right there in front, and sit there and wait for their turn. They're holding their dog, and their dog the whole time. You know, about losing his mind. Yeah. Uh, you know, because he's he's seeing the hog in there from the run in front of you, 
I don't like doing all that. I, it's it's kind of like ice and a kicker in, in my, you yeah. know, in, in football. You know, I don't do that. I I will go and unsnap my dog. I may walk him around and let him pee on my tires and whatever, you know, by my camper. But I wait. I look. I can see in Dallas. I can see when they clear that arena. When they clear the pen, I go straight in. Like we don't. We don't. Uh, we don't sit there and, and and hang out at the front, you know, for a while. Uh, I got to a point with Goose when you start to see the dog, it don't really matter what I do. Like, yeah. I, I, to be honest with you, Goose was sitting there at Uncle Earl's, got fourth place in the bench show, and he's the first run after the bench show's over to go back in. He literally <laughs> hung out at the bay pen in the hot sun for an hour and a half but, you know, doing the bench show and never left the arena. I just went and got, grabbed my other dog and came back, and we run. Yeah. And, the, and the outcome <laughs> was the same, you know. But if you got a young dog that just gets going, you want to treat everything like it's practice. Like today, when you're sitting there practicing, you're not waiting on somebody else to out of the pen. Yeah. You go get your dog, you walk him straight in, and you run it. And, and, and when you practice, you want to make everything as real as you can towards the competition. You don't, you don't want to just turn the hog out before you get there and you don't want to go catch your dog off of the hog uh while he's still in there you want them to see the gate open you want them to see him go out you want them to see exactly what's going to happen in competition that's that's the i mean i i don't know i mean there's a million ways to skin a cat but that's how i'm going to do it you know and it's worked for me yeah uh so yeah i i, I but if you're just starting out and you got a bunch of woods dogs and you haven't got a competition dog, I think you need to come to the events, hang out for a while, play a little Calcutta, you know, make, you know, make things fun for you and watch, watch what these dogs are doing and see what it takes, see what kind of dog it takes to win these events. And then, Break out that billfold and buy one. Yeah, I mean, and then or, or, you, or you just buy, or, or you buy puppies off of the dogs you like. You either, because to be honest with you, not many people sell good dogs. Mm-hmm. I mean, and the ones, the the, the 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 few dogs that I have bought in recent times. I mean, look what I spent on Max, twenty grand. Mm-hmm. Look at what I spent on Cowboy. That's fifteen grand. And that Cowboy is nine years old. Yeah. Uh, I spent ten thousand on CJ. Uh, you know that's the. But I'm buying dogs from people that are sold out, not people that are active competitors. Yeah, because if they were active competitors, it would be a different deal. Yeah, or or you buy from the guy on top. Yep. The guy on top don't care, and that. But the, but the active guys that are trying to get. Stuff, yes they're not selling they're not selling something that's something to stop yeah I, I agree with you, know? you on that that we we were talking about that uh me and pat we were talking about that last night it's like you know why would you give somebody your your stuff you know to beat you with <laughs> you know with, so uh, you I know mean, i get it if you're I, if you're trying to, to win yourself you know to me i i don't i'm not i mean like i got what i need at this point like mm-hmm. i got you know, I got, I honestly, I got the best. I'm, I'm not, I'm actually behind in the kennel this year. And I've got the best pack of dogs I've had since from every year that I've actually won it outright. I'm, I'm, run, I'm hauling the best pack of dogs I've ever owned. Hell yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm behind right now. I mean, just some, just some unfortunate luck, you know, and just things happen. I mean, it's all things. Yeah. You know, uh, but, uh, as far as how I feel about it, I know what I got. I know what I'm hauling to the, the competition. And, dude, I got, I got the best I've ever had. Uh, Max, fanboy, cowboy. You know, cowboys up there in age, don't get me wrong, but I think he showed out at Earl's even after he got mauled. Yeah, tell, give, give us a, a little Man. rundown on that incident because, uh, you know, they're, like I said, that when, I, have, it, I haven't said anything about it. You know, uh, me, and, me and Pat were talking about it. Uh, we recorded last night, but uh, it's, it's give, give us a little rundown. It's an unfortunate thing, and uh, I hate to even 
talk about something that sheds one ounce of negativity mm-hmm. towards the sport that I love. But I don't know what happened, to be honest. I, I don't know. I have an idea of the scenario and what makes sense yeah. that happened. But as far as actually what happened, I don't know. Goose and Cowboy go to the uh, go down and have a run. I think they were in the early 20s. I end up with another run that's somewhere around the 50s. Well, um, I put them back up. Everything, you know, they're, they're fine. You know, Cowboy's fine. Uh, I put him on his chain. And I'm getting ready to run my next run, which is like 50-something. I think I'm running with Carter. You know, me and Carter had a run. Yeah. <clears throat> so I go grab Blue Man. Throw him in the box, and then I bring Hannah. I bring her to the booth because she gets up in there and videos. So I'm bringing her to the to her spot where she videos. I make the loop back around and go run my dog. I come back up the hill after we make our run, which is probably you know 15 minutes have transpired from the time I left until the time I got back to the to the uh, to the pen. I put my dog. I put Blue Man up, which she's on the other side of the barn from where a cowboy is. I snap him back up. I hop back on my buggy. I run down the hill, pick up Hannah. I come back. I use, I go to the bathroom and TJ knocks on my door. He's like, what happened to cowboy? I come out there. Cowboy just coming in, but half his ear ripped off his neck from the, from the top side of his neck, to the bottom side of his neck. Mm-hmm. Evidently we had a dog fight somewhere, yeah. but, <clears throat> cur dogs, especially dogs like Cowboy and other cur, just about any cur dog, if they get into a fight, they're not going to sit there. They're going to be standing. One of them's either going to be laying there dead or somebody broke it up. Mm-hmm. They're not, you, you don't, a fight like that does not happen. And then, and then, then they just the quit. Yeah. Walk, walk off and then no other dog in the vicinity is hurt and harmed. And I show back up. That's, Exactly the same. No other dog has hurt the arm. Just a cowboy been chewed on, and I don't. I have zero idea what happened. You know, you would. I would think that if it was anybody, whoever broke it up, knows what happened. Yeah. And accidents happen. All you have to do is pick up the phone. Hey, call me. Say, hey, Randy. Man, I was leading my dog by. They got into a fight. Yeah, I mean, come, it, check, it, it come check on your dog. He, he, come check on your dog, man. I, I, I'm sorry. You know it. Yeah, you, you know. And 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 let me say, Cowboy's probably not innocent. Cowboy's a little bit of a instigator himself. Yeah. However, <laughs> he's on a he's on a two foot chain, and I gave you plenty of room to walk a, a, a walking path through that barn, so we didn't have this problem. You know, I, this ain't the first time I've done this. You know, I keep. My dog's in a certain situ- in, in a certain area where I don't have these kind of issues. Sure enough, man, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea to say that it was. I don't. I, my my first initial thought was this is an accident. Somebody's going to be calling me soon, let me know. But nobody called. Yeah. Nobody. So it, it, whether it was an accident or not, it's not an accident anymore. No, I, I agree. You know. You it's, know it's. It, it, if you can't, I mean, it's just as simple as that, you know, because I mean, think about it. What if I wouldn't have checked on him for hours? He'd have bled to this. Oh, yeah. It could have been he, he, much worse. I don't know if you've ever seen how bad ear injuries get. I mean, I'm sure oh, you, yeah. you have. Oh, oh, yeah. But <laughs> we're talking about a dog that's missing half his ear. He was bleeding out. Cody Jeffcoat and his daddy, man, Lil Kaysen, everybody, uh, Lulu, Jared, everybody helped me out. Like, I can't explain, like, just when you're losing faith in who people are, here you they find come. a way to stand it right back. Here they come. Yep. You got a, I got an army of, uh, uh, of, uh, of support. You know, Lulu has shirts on and I love it. Like I said it one day and it's something that res. I said it to her one day and it's something that resonated with her and she's got it all of her shirts. It says we before me. Yep. We before me. And, uh, we hashtag just about every one of my posts now. I hashtag we before me. That's that's good. Uh, but man, it was very unfortunate. Cowboy was, I mean, he was he couldn't stand up at that point. I had to scratch his run with Max, and 
I thought I was, he was done. Like his weekend was over. This is his last trip to Earl's, man. I could not, like, Hannah was falling. Like, Hannah's falling. She's crying <laughs> because that's, that yeah. she loves Kelly. I know her that's, dog. that's her dog, man. She loves that and, dog. And, 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 and I'm sitting there like, man, I put all my effort into Cowboys because I knew this was going to be his last rodeo at Earl's. He, he's 11 now. He will be 12 when he comes back to the world. And to, to think that he will actually be able to be in shape in order to bay there next year would be it would be a miracle if he was able to come back. Even even if he's alive by then, it will be a miracle. Yeah. Let alone be in condition to run. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, I and mean, this is his last deal, and I'm just like, I'm heartbroken. I'm like, you know, this ain't how it's supposed to end for us. You know? And, uh, man, I did everything I could. We uh we doctored him up. The, the Jeff coach gave me all kinds of meds. Miss Miss Bridget and Dick, he came down there with some stuff, and uh, I had him basically in the camper for the next two days. Because you keep, keep in mind, the bay off is what two days. The bay the first round is two days long. You yeah. Know? <laughs> so we were at the good. Fortunately, we this happened at run twenty four. We were early run, and uh, we got our we were already in the bay off. You know, we and, and dude. That first run, I don't know if you got to see it, but the Cowboy looked like a four-year-old dog again. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's I what had, I, me and Pat was talking about it. <laughs> I, I had him I had him swimming, you know. I have, I've been swimming him, getting him ready, getting, you know, hip and joint uh, uh, supplement, and got, it, and, and got him, got his, got his hip, you know, feeling good, lubed up, and he went in there and looked like a young dog that first round. And I had to scratch his run with Mac. Cause they were we were they were gonna be like run sixty eight or eighty something like they they were early enough that it was it, he wasn't gonna be able to do it. You know, he yeah. was at that point he couldn't even stand up. So I scratched him and then uh we come back from the payoff and you can't substitute a payoff run, you know. That's right. So I brought him back in the payoff. And I didn't know if he was even going to go to the hall. And yeah. uh, <laughs> when 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 I snapped that, I, you know, like I didn't think so. Like I, if you'd asked me that day, I was like, his his weekend was done. Yeah. We snapped that. We snapped that lead on him to bring him to the pin. That sucker hit the end of that beast like a damn, like a bulldog. He said, "Hey, he he was ready to go." And uh, he cast him. He went in there. He made another perfect. I I, could, I couldn't tell you what happened during the run. So as soon as he left my feet and went to that hog, I was crying. Like I ain't, I ain't talking about like little tears. I'm talking about like boo hoo and like That's... couldn't catch my breath type crying. Yeah. And I don't, I don't get that way. I don't get that way very. Like it, it takes a lot. And it, but it, man, it, that, that's what happens when they bleed for you. I said, man, I said y'all try to kill him and you couldn't do it. You know, heaven mm. forbid, because this is this pair right here is gonna bite you in the end. And he went in there, he got a perfect. We come back, X round, knocked another one down. And then Jake goes to them eliminator hogs. We were down to four teams. Goose and Cowboy. And uh I forgot the uh, one of Ricky's teams. Uh Scar and uh Scar and another one and then uh Scar and Nate. But Scar had two runs. Uh and, and Goose, see, Goose had just went back to back with uh, he was with Fanboy and uh, his other Homer. Yeah. So, anyways, he had just went back to back, and then he had to go with Cowboy on that elimination round. So we get to these four eliminator hogs, and uh, Goose and Cow. Like normally, when you get to the elimination round, you don't get a perfect score. Like this is a nine, a nine, eight, nine, nine is gonna win. Yeah, it happens every time. And Goose and Cowboy go in there on that eliminator hog and they a ten. Hell yeah, smoking. smoking. Listen, I ain't been that pumped up in probably ten years of hog band. That's probably the most excited I ever got. When they bade that ten on that eliminator hog, I just got the videos on Instagram. <laughs> I spin her straight like when when they, we're getting down to four, like two seconds. It's going three, two, one. I'm screaming, catch him now. I'm coming. And I'm talking about when they called time, they called time I hit that hog harder than the dogs did. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, of course, you know, when I'm starting to yell, catch him, 
oh Logan, Logan sitting on a cooler, wore out, tired from working the pen the whole night. But he heard me yelling, catch him, and Logan, Logan, Logan's about one foot behind me grabbing it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we had a we had a round, and uh, unfortunately, not all the hogs were even, and uh, one of the uh, Nathan Star got a got a good hog sat there for him. They got a chance to tied. And Goose the Cowboy could not bait two eliminator off. Man, we were – I'm telling you right now, if that run would have been 30 more seconds, we'd probably got a nine. Hell. But, but we bait all the hell out of that hog for three minutes. And uh, when we had to go back in the next round, uh, that, I mean, you know, you had I had an 11-year-old dog in there with Goose who was war slapped down from, you know, I had to run, as and that changed him. If I had to run Goose five times now in the two dog, because of cow, because but when Cowboy got hurt, yeah, I had to sub. You know, like mm-hmm. it, it, it messed. It just, it threw, it threw a kink in everything. You know, and uh, but Goose and Cowboy got second. Uh, you know, and I mean, I'm happy, man. Like Michael Batten, if you're gonna lose to somebody who won't, who. Who you who would you not? I mean, that, that's one of the guys you want to lose to. Yeah. Uh, and and with uh with Nate and Scar, uh, they ended up winning uh the two dog and uh, Goose and Cowboy got second. Now you know that's the third, third or fourth year in a row. I I'd have to look back. Third or fourth year in a row, Goose and Cowboys got second place in Oklahoma. I, I, well, it, it, I know it's three years for sure because it's happened every year that I've went. <laughs> yeah, got second. Second, second, and second. Yep. Now, Goose and Cowboy won it in 2019. <laughs> so, you know, but that's that's how – that just that just shows how consistent them two are. I mean – Oh, yeah, they're it, solid. Go 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 find you another dog that's gotten second five times. I'd, I'd rather get second five times than win once every now and then. Yeah. You I, know? That's, that's something else me and Pat talked about uh, was that consistency factor in, in like, the lineage and the breedings. It, yeah. it, and Pat said uh, something very similar. He said, "He said I, I we were talking about fox pens, yeah. uh, you know, just running dogs and stuff." He said, "I'd rather have that dog that that gets second or third place in, in almost every hunt than to have the the one dog that won first two times in his whole life." Yeah, you know, and and and, and that makes a world of sense, you know, when you, when you think about it, right? And, and that's what you're producing. So I mean, so so right there, well, what you just talked about—that that's where we'll roll into to what you're producing now, uh, yeah. Because because you've accomplished so much in the in the bay pin world, uh, yeah. And you've I've caught a lot of flack from a lot of the guys that hunt, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. About, about these just being pin dogs and the hogs. Well, man, that dog can't tra- take him to the woods and see what happens. Blah blah blah, and yeah. all that. Uh, and I've been one of those guys that was like, I, you know, why would you even take him to the wood? Because he's, you know, he's making money. He's he's doing all yeah. these things. But now, like you said, he's a five-time world champion. So you took him to the woods. Yeah, yeah, I took him to the woods. Uh, I took him to the woods just that one time. Yeah, uh, but but now was, what's he producing as far as woods goes? I mean, his, his, he's got a puppy right now. I call him Goose Jr. And I, just after all this, in this past, uh, Saturday, because we talked uh, we I, talked about Goose Junior in the the first the first part of this a little bit, but yeah. you've carried him on another hunt since then. Yeah, we, we we went we took I went on a trip with uh, uh, Drake Boykin. Uh, he's the you know actually his daddy and my daddy were good friends, but uh, Drake is like he's a young kid. He's twenty one, twenty two years old, and uh, uh, anyways, uh, he's just a mature. I mean, he's a good he's a good kid a lot of fun to be around well drake's got some, some, some land to hunt around here and uh he carried me over to his his place out there and uh saw sap and uh anyways we're out there uh hog hunting and we were kind of just having a i mean like it's it's been gotten like we we started off the, the morning rough like couldn't even really find a hog sign there was no feeders going so we just you know, there wasn't there wasn't really nothing to check. We just kind of hoping that that we'd have some come through the area. Well, uh, 
we pull down this one trail and I'm a little bit behind Drake, you know, he's in this buggy up ahead of me and uh I pull up, I see he's already he's he's like he's already out of his buggy dropping dogs. And he's got a little dog named Penny. It's a blue tick crossed with I think it's a Catahoula. I'm pretty sure it is. I'd have to ask him again, but I'm about ninety percent certain it's a blue tick Catahoula cross. Yeah. He dropped that damn that dang dog and she didn't go, I bet seventy, eighty yards off the freaking road right there. And she's silent. She don't bark on she ain't she don't bark unless she's looking at one. And she's saying, Cameron. Well, I I go ahead and I'm like, grab my I'm going to grab my bulldog and Goose Jr. is losing his mind. And I was like, I'll just send my bulldog to Goose Jr. at the same time. That sucker's gonna be caught. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much what happened. You know, I sent yeah. I sent him. We caught him. It's about uh, sixty yards off the trail. And dude, Drake has got a he's got a, he's got his stuff together. His bulldog, he can it walks beside him when he goes into the catch. He don't have to leash it, you know. Yeah. And uh, he catch as soon as he's catching the hog. I'm over there doing everything I can to get my dang bulldog and my and Goose Junior to let go. I got Goose Junior tied him to a tree. I get my bulldog, and they're lo- they're still losing their minds, wanting to eat the hog that's tied, and all his dogs are off hunting again. <laughs> yeah, <they're> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they're rolling out, and uh, I got my hound on the ground, that, that walker hound I was telling you about. I dropped him in all that, and he's he's out he's out with uh, Drake's dog hunting, and uh, we cut the hog tied turn, and, and turn him loose. Uh, not far from there, but them dogs were already seven tenths of a mile running another one. And then uh, being being great, ride up the road a little ways, and uh, I'm getting like like uh, my hounds getting close. His dog, they're they're, they're like coming within like five hundred yards, and my mine's opening on track. And his is right there with him. Like yeah. We're just looking at the garment. Well, I'm like, man, I'll send Goose Junior to that to that my hound. He'll go he'll go catch up with him. He'll she he'll end that race. So I send Goose Jr. and he gets within about 200 yards of that hound, and he makes a beeline and peels off, and he is 700 yards like in a matter of minutes. And I'm looking at my Garmin and it's showing he's got 20 barks a minute. It's windy. Mm-hmm. You ain't you can't hear nothing, and it shows 20 barks a minute. I'm like, he's bait. And then I sit there and watch the Garmin. You know, it's like it's still showing him moving. And uh, sure enough, I ain't watched it two, maybe a minute or two. Met showing him tree, twenty barks a minute, and he's seven hundred and like eighty something yards to the damn woods. So we get in our buggies, and uh, you know Drake's telling me, he said, "Man, we can get close, but we ain't." I said, "I don't even want to get within five. I don't want to go any closer than five hundred yards." Yeah. And uh, I said, "Because I, I mean, last time I did that." Yeah, uh, he, he come out. Yeah, he yeah. He, I broke the hog and Goose Jr. come back to me. Yeah, like he, he he heard that buggy and I guess he thought we was leaving. Well, he's so, he's still pretty young too, ain't he, Randy? Oh uh, yeah, he ain't even a year old. He's yeah, he, he's, he's he's getting close to a year. So he he's so, doing he's still doing really good. There, there's a lot of that's growing pains with that, you know. Oh yeah, so we get we get within a, like I think we we stopped the buggies at four eighty nine. And we walk, you know, I have to obviously lead my bulldog, but Drake Bulldog's just walking beside him. I got the video, it's on Instagram. And uh, it's, it's just because it's so long, it ain't got but about 10,000 views on it. But uh, the, the usually, uh, if I can, if I show, I'm gonna probably shorten the clip up to where it's like a 20 or 30 second clip, and then uh, that'll probably get another, you know, another 40, 50,000. Hell yeah. But, uh, but anyways, we, we, he, Dude, it took us 20 minutes to get to him. And he stayed there, had that sucker bait the entire time. I got about 60 yards from him, sent my bulldog. He, he sent his bulldog. And the video shows one cur dog, two bulldogs. Hell <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't, you know, I got, I got, obviously everybody thinks like I'm like, oh, uh, well, you cut the video off. You did this. I'm like, you think I'm going to post a 20 minute something? Video, like, yeah. <laughs> like, you can't post that stuff. No. Like, of course, you got pups or young dogs in some hands, some dogs. hunters. Oh man, yeah, Jaden Brown out of Florida. 
he's got two out of goose uh goose's sister mm-hmm. and they are he's like man he, he brought just his two puppies and his catch dog and he's catching hogs he's like really? i don't even need my lead I, he's i can leave my lead dog at the house Choo-choo. and uh, i can still catch hogs yeah he's catching He's he's probably the he's probably the he's actually the probably the first guy that really got young dogs from me and got going with them. And man, they like they they pass them the test. Uh, a buddy of mine in South Carolina's got one. He's catching dogs with it. I, I I haven't had anybody, you know, complain. Not yeah. one. I mean, but granted, I charge twenty five hundred dollars for a puppy, and you know what? People that pay twenty five hundred dollars for a puppy are fixing to put some effort into that thing. Yes, They're it, not, it you, changes they the whole five, outlook. You you start charging five hundred dollars and watch how your dogs will go to shit. Mm-hmm. Because the, the problem the problem is, is them them people I mean, they'll forget about that five hundred dollars that they spent six months later. But twenty five hundred dollars that that's, that's going to that, stick that, with they, you. Yeah, they're going they fix it. Hey, we fix this. Try this sucker out, and if they put. <laughs> If they give, if they start feeding them dogs track, they're gonna find out. Oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna do the stuff. They'll, they'll, you know, it depends on how you want to hunt. You know. Yeah, if, and, if, uh, if you if you don't get them out and, and and put them on the ground, then I mean they're not gonna do shit anyway. You gotta you gotta put forth the effort. Yeah. And like people you said, ask me all the time, like they ask me, how do they range? I'm like, well, I mean, they go as far as they need to. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's, I mean, however far the hog is. Yeah, I mean, it, they, it's if, up to you they, to put them where the hogs are. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I get them close enough to. Yeah, a track. you want to put them on some property that's got hogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, if you don't, you're just gonna bay armadillo. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you're gonna bay. If there ain't no hogs around there, they're gonna bay something. Yeah. Well, they should. Uh, you know, uh, that's the way I feel. Especially a young dog. If 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 there ain't if there's not any any hogs on the property, and they don't do anything, look. Yeah. I, I, I got to start over. I got to do something yeah. different, you know. I, look, I some bitch can run a deer, tree a squirrel, a yeah. uh, chipmunk. It can, it, hell, if it bays a rock, that's fine. Yeah. But but it needs to do something. It's got to have that right. drive, you know. And yeah. and, 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 you know, and I'm being honest with you, I've really just now started hunting my line of dogs. It's yeah. not like I've been hunting these for forever, but I mean, I'm that's what, what I'm what what's what's hitting the ground and going is going, and they're doing their job. And, uh, you know, I do, I did notice, I don't know if it's just a young thing, but they don't, they're not, he, you know, like if there's no hog sign around, mm-hmm. he, he's not as hard a hunting at night. Yeah. Like, I, like, I don't know, like he, he'll, he, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, you know, I, I, I don't know how well dogs see it. I hear they see really well. Mm-hmm. They see just fine. I, but I've, I've been told that. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't, look, I ain't never looked through the dogs. Though. That's right. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It's just, it's, to me, it's weird. If they can see just like they do in the daytime, then why do they hunt different at night? Like if I've dropped Goose Jr. on no sign at all, he is going to burn the, in the daytime. He is burning the woods down to try to find a track. Yep. Hunt. And if I drop him at night, totally, I ain't seen totally him different. hunt. But yeah, now if he picks up a track, he is oh dude, I got one night we had I think it was like thirteen point six miles. Yeah. He trapped. I mean I mean like he's seven tenths of a mile one direction, the next thing you know he's one point four miles that's right. direction. And he's burned, you know, he's like and that's when he's on a on a track. Yeah. But if he's not on a track, you know, he's not he's not gonna give me at night, it's yeah, like, he's he's not. Yeah, he's not giving me the same loop. You know, he's not doing the same. Quite I think the same. I think a lot of young dogs. I, I think that is something in in young dogs, Randy, because like I, I've got some right now that that are yeah. are similar, and then I've got some that actually will hunt better at night than they will during the day. Yeah, and, and that's kind of a, but you know, having a big yard with a lot of dog, a lot of hunting dogs on it, you know, yeah. uh, you're going you're going you're going to have a big variation in it and, and you should right. uh, to an extent, but yeah, we, yeah. we, we run into the same kind of deal, uh, especially that first year that they're hunting. Yeah. It, it, we take them at night and they don't seem to, to really beat the bushes as hard as they do during the day. So, uh, and yeah, maybe some, there might be some listeners out here that, that know more about it than, than we do. And if you, if, sure. hey, if anybody's listening and y'all know that what the difference is or what it could, 
what it could potentially be the difference that causes a, yeah. a young dog not to go as much, let us know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he on a track, he's he, just he, in the nighttime is no different than the day, but if he ain't on a track, he's not as, I, I don't know. He, I guess he's just not as active. As, don't mm. seem like, and it could be circumstantial things. You know, I hunted different places. Yeah. Maybe there was, you know, Maybe the other times he was uh, on a on a squirrel track and then he crossed the deer, <laughs> then he crossed the deer and then he crossed the hog and he's like, right. oh, there's a hog. Hold on, let's go get this. That's right. You know, I, I don't know. You know, yesterday we yeah, had like, one. We had one bust up on the deer right quick. There would, like, there was nothing moving, and uh, yeah. that son of a gun. He that's the first only thing he's seen, and let me tell you, he was ready to roll. <laughs> is it, but you know, he wouldn't standing around our feet. So hey, it yeah. is what it is. I was uh, <laughs> I forgot who it was. It was uh, we were I forgot where we was at. But Mark Hayes one time we had the hogs on the ground, and Mark Hayes turned around and one of them bumped the deer and started running. He looked over. He said, "Price just went up on that sucker." He <laughs> 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 out there hog hunting. He's like, "Yeah, well, you couldn't fly that past that old boy." But yeah. uh, how did uh, so so you had a you did a you did a uh, interview with Pat here recently yes uh yeah uh i i really i'm trying to say when are we gonna put pants out before we put this one on out nate yeah i think it's scheduled to come yeah well i'm just saying because you know we're trying to keep them just rolling and uh yeah i asked him uh the the secret question yeah you know and uh i I really want you to just listen to it on there but you know what 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 what, what do you think pat said when i asked him how good is well, Goose? It depends on the damn mood he was in. Now that that's oh, really, he, he was in rare form. Now, he, if you ask him, if you ask him if he took his medicine before this, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, yeah, he, he said he did. He took. I think yeah, he said he, he took said two it. extra ones. <laughs> yeah, he needed it. He yeah. definitely. Needed it. Yeah, uh, man, he'll be, if he answers the question honestly, which I think he will, especially if he's on his medicine. Then uh, he's gonna tell you about his versatility. He's the most versatile dog in the world. That's what his, that's his 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 mo. Which yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm argue with him because I really I'm not in that kind of that kind of position. Now, obviously, Pat seen he's hunted with a whole lot different more types of dogs than I have, and not just hunted, but he watched the kid. Now Pat all Pat was there when Goose hunted. I actually took him on the hunt. So, yeah, yeah, Pat got to see that. You know it's. And, you know, Pat's been around the block a time or two. I mean. Oh, ain't no doubt. Uh, he he has a great understanding of hog dog, I would say. And, Without a doubt. Uh, you know, uh, the pen's a little different for him. You know, yeah. You well, so that's what we were talking about was like the bay pen stuff. And, you know, and, and we, we had a few questions from some listeners and stuff. And we were getting into all that. And. Uh, he was actually, he was on the topic uh, of goose and, and I told him, I said, well, while we're on the topic, I said, you know, I got another question and, uh, he's, I told him, I yeah. said, well, you know, how, how, how good is goose in, you know, as far as like in the bay pen and stuff like we was talking about, I said, so, so how, how good, how good do you think goose is? He said, uh, he's probably about 80% of what crow was. <laughs> 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 he, said, he said, he said, he said, crow obey him with, with no feet on the ground. <laughs> yeah, good. Hey, he loved crow, don't he? Hold it. Oh, yeah. But hey, but, I forgot about that. That's the one thing we ain't even touched on. Goose's first run in the one dog. You know what he what happened to him? 30 uh, seconds left. He was standing on three legs. Yeah. Well, it, well Pat, that that was the conversation we were having. He was actually, he was bragging on him, you know. And, uh, yeah. It, it, but, you know, how, like I said, it, it was just funny because I, that really kind of caught me. But every time that me and him, like we legitimately sit down and we're talking dogs. That son of a gun just had something for Crow. He he just yeah he, re- he really liked that's Crow. his preference. That was that's it. That's that's yes. how he preferred to go that. Oh, without and, a and, doubt. And we all had we all have that. Yes, but, we all have a preference and and like but it, 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 but not even but but this ain't even a preference. This is factual information. Oh yeah, Crow wasn't even fifteen percent of what Goose is in the pit. That's just the, yeah. That, that's the statistics. That can, that's that's yeah, the facts. That, that, okay. I mean, if you look, if you look, I mean, listen, you can look at it from any way you want. Mm-hmm. One dog, two dog. Was Crow great? Yeah, he was. He was a great dog. 
Pro, Crow is top five in the in the world in career points. Top five. Yeah. Crow don't have a hunter. Crow don't. Crow's probably sitting around 60, 70 points. Crow's wow. probably number 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 four, number five dog in the stand ever. I uh, he, Nathan Brooks Goose, asked Goose, me Goose about your... more, Goose scored more in one year than Crow has in his whole career. Really? So, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we yeah, well, yeah, by the second. time you count, yeah, yeah I, I see. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Uh, uh, I had, we got a, a guy named Nathan Brooks, I know, uh, from out in Georgia. He was asking me about the uh, the registry and stuff, and uh, I need to get him some info on that so he can he yeah. can check stuff out on it. Uh, he, he likes to get into the to the history of stuff. He, he's a very intelligent guy. He is a dog man for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that he, uh, he, he, he knows his shit. There ain't no, he's kind of like Pat. He, uh, well, he, he's not yeah. as wound tight as uncle Pat is, but yeah, he, he's knowledgeable, you know, well, and Pat, Pat can talk about something he does nothing about and yeah. say it fast enough and loud enough with enough confidence. You think he knows it. <laughs> That is just, yeah. I, well, hey, I, I see you. I see you. There's nobody that can win an argument. You're not going to win an argument. You not. can be. You can. Be, I can be a million times right, and yeah. you're still not going to win the argument, <laughs> no matter what. You just had to give up, huh? Yeah. I just like, man. Look, some of these, some things, some things, maybe the same thing the same for you, Bubba. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like we, we we had an argument about what's too rough and what's not too rough. Well. It's like I have to explain. Like, look, nipping is not a rule. There's no rule against nipping. Yeah. There's a rule against being too rough. You know, yeah. uh, if a hog is sitting still and he's not paying attention to the dogs, he's looking up in the crowd. Do you would you consider that a bait hog if he ain't paying them dogs no mind? He he's not just worried about he, nothing. Yeah, he's yeah. Just because he's stationary, don't mean he's bait. Well, that's like people talk he, about a walking bay. I'm like, I, I don't believe in that. That and that's it, just it, me, that, you know. That's just me. Uh, that, that don't mean that I'm right or wrong, but for for me, if I've got a 350 pound hog that will not stop and he's walked a mile and the dogs are steadily barking at him, they're yeah. not. That hog's not bayed. No, that, that's but there's not a, a difference bait. between there and there's a difference between walking and not honoring the dog. Yes, and then those those hogs that. I'm talking about the same thing you're talking about. That hog's just looking up in the sky. He's minding his own business. He don't give a shit about them dogs. He ain't studying them dogs. And that's that's what you're saying is if just because the hog's standing still, he's in an arena. You know, he's standing there looking off. So there ain't nowhere to go. The dog dog doesn't have control. The dog does not have control. So every now and then, you know, because, and it's the wording of the rules. The wording of the rules says a hog is stationary. You don't touch it. Yeah. But but anyone with anybody with common sense knows that hey, if he's a lot of times and nobody gets in trouble for it when the hog's got his butt turned to the dog and he's yeah. looking into the corner. Yeah, I've, I've seen just, that. Just, I've seen that. It's you know they grab they'll reach up and nip him on the butt and turn him around and 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 it's acceptable. Nobody gets mad about it. But it's what where where judges have a hard time and contestants have a hard time understanding. It's when that hog ain't paying them dogs any mind, but he's sitting still. And the dog reaches up there like Goose will reach up there, and he'll pull hair on it. Say, hey, mom, you got to look at me. Yeah. Like, don't don't think about running. Like, we're baying you. You stay still. I you know, you. and Well, that's that, what we and, were talking about, that reading the hog and understanding that language. That yeah, that dog can speak that language, and we can't. But what I'm, but, but, but my, my, my main point to saying that is that is the definition. That's not being too rough. Yeah. That is just baying. I got you. And, and 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 Pat, you know, and he, he's like he, he'll pull up a rule book. Well, yeah, I see what you're saying, but that hog ain't bait if he ain't looking at them dogs. Yeah. If he ain't, if he ain't honoring the dogs, he's not a bait hog. Okay. And, 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 makes, and I, that I see that. Game. Well, I I do. I never really even looked at it that way, from from the yeah. bait pen point of view at, at all. I, I never have. Yeah. Uh, until until this conversation right now, and and I, yeah. I like that because and, that shine, that sheds that a new light. Dog- and I'm not saying you won't get dark for it sometimes. Believe me, I have. Yeah, but and, I, I and do like, see hey, your man, point. Like he's got I'm like, you know, and, 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 and man, but them judges, they, they're up there first off. They're up there all in damn day. Yeah, I, I and, would not want to be a judge. And they're trying to split hairs. That's a hard job. Yeah, and they're up there trying to split hairs and trying to break, you know, like the yeah. dogs are, 
you know, obviously if the hogs aren't doing much, it's going to be hard to break this thing up. Yeah. So they're going to nitpick you sometimes. Sometimes you're not going to get away with that, mm -hmm. but you should. You, in general, by the by the general terms of hog band, you should get away with pulling hair on a dang hog that ain't paying your dog no mind. He's mm -hmm. not looking at your dog, and he's not worried about your dog. He's just standing still because he's in an arena. Well, he's fair game until he's a, until he's baiting, until he's standing there eyeball to eyeball with your dog. Yeah. Now, I'll see a lot of dogs where that hog will be crab crawling. Like, he's just. He's his he is staring at them. them yeah, he's them trying dogs. he's trying and to move, then, but he's walking. Yes, and, yeah, he, and, and he's looking at the dog, and he he won't turn his head away from the dog. Yeah, and in that point, honestly, you should not touch that hog. No, because you're going to break is, him. All you're going to do is break him. And yep. I watch dogs. Well, I'm talking. About, I watch dogs hit him in the face, mm -hmm. and do, and do it not once, but twice, three or four times, and break the hog, and he'll run across the arena, and he'll still get a ten. Yeah, but. Because the wording of the rule, and some judges just, I mean, like, they're just have I mean, like I said, they're there all day. Yeah. And and they're like, well, that hog's swatting at him. That hog's moving. Technically, he is. But that's because they're being too rough. That's why he's moving. Yeah. You know? I, I had so, this this dream one time. When, well, I say one time. It's it's like when, when we first started talking about the comparison to, like, PBR, you know, with hog baying. I was right. like, you know what would really level the field? Half the score goes to the hog, just like a yeah. bull. Could yeah. you could you imagine what how that would change? It, it would. The only thing that I I I, I would love it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not but, saying that it would happen. I just said, can you imagine yeah. though, dude? That would like if you got like like you said, you get an eliminator hog that your dogs have worked nonstop mm -hmm. tirelessly for the whole bay, and then the next hog comes out and it just yeah. is a set up hog. So yeah, makes yeah, it easy. Yeah, makes it easier. And and there's hey, it's <laughs> luck of the draw. I get it. Yeah. But at the same I mean, time, man, if you could level that field like that, yeah. shit. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. The only problem you have is man, we've already asked on uh, we're already asking so much of these oh, yeah. judges. Oh yeah, now without a doubt. I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're asking Yeah, it's like stuff. we can't even it's, we didn't, they, they stay awake hire, for hours and days at a yeah. time. Oh yeah, we have to hire another. Th we have to hire another three set of judges to yeah. score the hog. <laughs> yeah. You know, and uh, and, and man, but like like I said, I mean, we're still in a point. We got the, the, the judges. We got man, they're the most fair, honest group of people. Like everybody that Jake puts up in that that spot, I can promise you, does not give one rat's ass to turning the dog loose. Or what dogs in the arena? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree walking. with that. Like I am a hundred percent confident in that. Do, does some things that you know? Does things get by and things? Of course, circumstantial things. You put a judge in a spot where he can't really see. Mm -hmm. You know, or you know, like maybe the, maybe the hogs band in a different part of the arena, and yep. only one or two judges, only one judge has got a good view of what's actually going on. The other two are at a disadvantage; they can't see. Well, a lot of times. That dog might get away with something because of where he's at in the arena. Just that's part of it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be accepting of it. The cat's not very accepting. Yeah, that gets bad. Yeah, <laughs> it gets bad. What, you, you like know? you said, y'all disagreeing on stuff, uh, and, and I think it's, I think it's great because y'all are friends. You know, and, oh, and yeah. I mean, you you agree, you disagree, and you agree, whatever. Uh, he he always. Me and him have talked several times about the same kind of stuff, and like you're talking about the too rough deal. His his thing, his gripe is if goose runs beside the hog or behind the hog, and not in front of the hog to stop it and make it turn around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he's talking about get a dog getting ahead. I yeah. I, I, I just find it so funny. It's like you know, and I get it. I do. I, I understand both points of view. And yeah, well, I mean, if you're hunting in the woods, yes, here, that's okay, what I said. It's two just, different let's deals. Let's just think about it. If you are in the woods, if you run up behind a hog and bite him on his butt and turn him, it's depending on where you're at in the woods. It is absolutely just fine. It's probably the best way to stop him because after you sink teeth on them nuts a few times, yeah, that hog's fixing to start sitting still. Yes, sir. all that movement is over. Now, 
you can also, if you got, if you're in a thicket and you got trees and shit in front of you, you may need to take that angle to run in front to cut him off. It just depends on where you're at. There's, and, and, and let's just think about this too. If you're in the woods and you're hunting, does it matter if that hog makes another 30 feet one direction before you stop him? No. I mean, does 30 feet actually matter? Not 50 that feet scenario. actually matter? Even 100 yards don't even really matter nope. as long as you stop him. Yeah, that just <laughs> that, that's the ultimate goal. It. Yep. As long as you stop it, what hurts my heart, and it's uh, it's just how hog band is, and, and it's it's very unfortunate in the scoring system, is when you get a hog that makes you have to stop him eighty times in a row, mm-hmm. and you and you stop him seventy nine. Yep. And then, then you got there. nine nine, and you get a nine nine, and the other team don't even have one reason to make a mistake. And you question whether they looked out two or three times in front, but you still give them a 10 because you don't know for sure that he looked out. But you know for sure that one dog that made that, that had that hog that made him stop him 85 times, he only stopped him 84, he's got a 9-9. Yeah. Now you tell me which they was better. <laughs> I, it, it, that, and, and, you know, that's what it, I agree. I, I agree a million percent. That's why I was saying about the whole scoring the hog deal. Man, I was like, yeah. just for that stuff – Man, we were in at Hickory Crossing, and we had this little hog out there, and that thing, it, it wasn't as big as my dogs, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, they have a lot of issues. Now, they do have a couple good hogs, and and, and Mark has built up a good, a, a lot better set for this year. But anyway, yeah. this has been two years ago, and they bayed that hog in the center of the, the pen, uh-huh. and, and, and Hickory is a, is a big woods pen, you know, yeah. for six minutes. And it was an absolute merry-go-round. I mean, they didn't move 20 yards either direction, totally, but, but it was nonstop. My dog would but, slap wore out, and, and mm-hmm. I mean, it, it was unreal. And then the next hog that come out was Butthead, and Tadpole and Dina went yeah. out there and yeah. made a six-minute perfect. Yeah, And, and hey, it, it is what it is. That, that's how it yeah. works. And when yeah. when when he pulled that hog, he turned around and looked over and winked at me, and he just I was like, "Well, it's over now," you know. Yeah. And, and I think I mean, we got second. We got second place, but which bay was better? Yeah, right. You that's know exactly. That's that's the unfortunate thing. What's unfortunate even more about it is when it happens in the in the second round, you know, and and yeah, and we didn't get to see the best dog actually make it to the end, you yep. know, or the best bays make it to the end. And see, and I think that was our. Let's say we went two minutes each time. So no, it was eight minutes. Yeah, we were at mm-hmm. an eight minute bay that time. I think yeah. we was on our fourth run, our fourth round. And, right. and like you said, it was like I, I, I'm already the dogs were already done done their job several times, and we've just kept going and going. Yeah. And, and it was like, man, they pulled they pulled it out, and, and I was proud. Don't get me wrong, I was very very yeah. proud. But at the same time, like you said, that that nine nine. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. in it's my just, mind, they made a twelve nine. You know, it's yeah, like they yeah. they did amazing. Right. And and that's one of the things when I judge an event. And I, th- listen, there's going to be people that are going to argue with me, diehard old school people that'll argue with me. But buddy, if I'm judging your dog and that hog's tough and he's making it hard, the dogs really got to convince me that they screwed up. Yeah. But God Almighty, if you draw it an easy one, you better not make me doubt whether you look out or not. <laughs> They're gonna know real quick, ain't it? I don't. I mean, his eyes might not have come off that sucker, but if his nose is pointed off center, he's distracted by something. You know what? Yep. That dog didn't even have a reason to turn his head and look that direction. You know what I mean? There was nothing going on over there. There was a hog right in front of him. His head pointed that way. I can see the tip of his nose. I don't care if his eyes is on him or not. Yep. He better make. He better make those easy runs flawless. I agree. I agree. And, and and then you have and you what and you have a little bit of leniency to be a little bit sloppy at times when it's a tough run. Yeah, because I mean you got to put it's so much effort that has to go into it. I mean, yeah, it's not. We're not just to, we're not here to win a barking contest. We're here to win a hog band. Yep. That means that means control that stuff. And if you can't spare it one, and not make not not not. <laughs> not have somebody doubting whether you look at or not. Yeah. Hey, you know, you by all means, you know, uh shouldn't be there. You know, it's just 
it's one of those it's just aggravating it's aggravating as hell that that's just what well, that's part of it yeah you know i get and, like and, said, and, I said i i it I've been in that situation more times than I'd like to. It seems like every single time I go to the bay off Randy, I get a hog that runs nonstop. <laughs> I swear I, I do, man. It's like, I, I, yeah. I can't catch a break. I ain't going to yeah. say that because I have. And and like yeah. you were talking about the hey, eight, there was a couple of times where my dogs have bayed and I had them at a nine, eight. Yeah. And they actually let them go with a 10. And I'm like, well, I seen yeah. this and this, and but the judge didn't see it. Yeah. So, so people Don't matter out, what you say. Exactly. Yeah. So people out here that think yeah. like there's this big conspiracy, it's not. I mean, like yeah. you said, these I these mean, judges are they're they're doing the job that nobody wants to do. In all honesty, exactly. yeah. And, and, and I and commend them for you're it. You're never you're never anybody's friend except for the person that wins. Yeah. But guess what? There's there's four there's four hundred entries, and there ain't but one person at the end of the night gonna like you. Yeah, <laughs> three ninety three ninety nine are mad at you, you know. Yeah, it, uh, it, that's the way it seems. Yeah, that's man. I've I've I, I've always like I've talked to I've talked to the judges at times, man. I've never, I'm never ugly. I'm never I'm never rude. I mean, hell, I don't. I've done their job. I know how big of a pain in the ass it is. Mm -hmm. and, and from a competitor standpoint, man, all I'm watching is my own runs. Yeah, and I may watch a few of other a few of other your runs or Carter's runs or this guy's runs. Yeah, you know, I don't watch. I ain't watching 400 runs. They're watching 400 runs. Do you think that they can even decipher what dogs drew what hogs at the end of the day? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. no it, it's they, ridiculous. Uh, I don't see how you know, they, they do it, man. I, I really don't. You just honestly, you, at some point, you get kind of you kind of go into a trance, just like mundane. Gone, yeah. Yeah, you and you're just. You know, and dude, I'll be honest with you. I've been sitting up there on the judges' stand, and I'm sitting there watching the dogs, but I'm I'm watching them. I'm not really watching them with my judges' hat on. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. I gotta I gotta start looking for mistakes here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I sure hope I didn't miss. Like yeah. I sure hope I didn't miss anything because you can't just sit to try to maintain focus mm -hmm. like that for 16 hours. No. Oh yeah, it, it's that's Even, ridiculous. It, our judges, what did we? I think they ran from eight in the morning. Until nine at night, and, and that's at Earl's. Now, when you go to yeah. these other ones where it's all night, all long, night, yeah, dude, yeah, I, that are, that is just it's got to be damn torture. I mean, oh, dude, it's miserable. It's miserable. I've been up there. I, and I've never had big. to. I've never had to judge that long. I've judged a few events, not, nothing mm -hmm. real big, but I mean, like you said, even sitting there all day, ten or twelve hours, it's like damn. That yeah, this I is mean, more than I want to do. But I I, yeah, I, a, I opened my big mouth and said, you know, I, I was complaining about a call or something like that. And then I said, you know, maybe I need to see it from their point of view. And once I did, I don't complain at all anymore. I don't say yeah. nothing. No. <laughs> if I, mean, I do, I say it where nobody can hear me. <laughs> the only things I've ever said is if I felt like we had some fundamental problems, like, hey, like, I understand you're tired. I understand you're going to miss because you're tired. Yeah, but it's like I like I I explained how I, I've I've had this explanation to other judges while while we're in an event, you know, I'm like, hey, look, here's what y'all are letting get away. That hitting that hog in the face, and just because that hog swat back at him, that don't mean that dog ain't being too rough. Like just yeah. because the hog's beating him, that that hog that, that that dog don't even have a reason to touch him. That hog is eyeball to eyeball with him. It is time to bark at that point. Yep. I don't care if and like man, people say, look, he's off the wall. It don't matter where he's at. Bait is bait. And then and, and if we're if we're if we're gonna split hairs like that, or is any hog really ever actually on the wall? Heck no. They're at least an inch or two off that thing. Mm -hmm. So they're never up, you know, like their butts might touch it at times. Okay, so for, for some of the new newcomers or people that are gonna be future, you know, coming to the bays, explain about the their, the hog's ass against the wall. Explain what you're talking about there, just for clarity for people who don't know. Yeah, I mean, there, there's people that they're like there, there's there's references where I've heard that they won't dock you for touching the hog if he's in, unless if he's in the middle of the arena. Yeah. Well, well, it doesn't matter where he's at. That's not the rule. The rule is if he's bait. Bait mm -hmm. meaning he's he is he is looking at the dogs. He is. The dogs have his attention, and he's not trying to walk away from them. He might be walking to a safe spot, and he might be 
crab crawling, but you and I both know you don't walk. Have you ever walked walk anywhere for any amount of time walking sideways and shuffling your feet? Yeah. <laughs> no? no. You, you're going to walk in a straight line with your eyes on wherever the hell you're going. Exactly. If, I, if I'm going sideways, I'm usually fixing to circle around so that way I can grab your ass. That's right. If I'm walking sideways, yeah, something's you, happening. You see me crab walking, or I'm and drunk. I, my head turned, <laughs> and my head turned looking at you. Yeah. that means I'm looking for a good angle. That's right. Smoke. I'm waiting on you to drop your shoulder, yeah. and and move your leg back, and yeah. I'm fixing to come on with you. But but if if I'm if you if you're looking at me that way, that means I got control over you. Yes, I'm controlling what you do. Yeah. You're walking that way because you know I'm fixing to get you. Exactly, because mentally I'm focused on you. That's right. I, I'm That's not. I'm exactly not just blatantly walking around and, and just yeah. you know. And, and and I I do like I said. I never even never really looked at it from that point of view. Yeah. Until this conversation, and, and yeah. like I said, I man, I try to learn something all the time. I'm, I'm an open minded person, and I think yeah. I think that really did shed a lot of light to what you know, like you and Pat talking about stuff all the time. Now I understand what y'all are arguing about more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and. Pat can, it don't matter. Pat will just say something real loud and yeah. say it real fast. And, you know, he gets real, going real quick and you don't understand what the hell he's saying anyways. But then he goes, I told you. <laughs> and then he gets it like that and everybody's looking like, Shit, that motherfucker knows what he's talking about. You hear how confident he is? Yeah. 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 But I'm not saying Pat don't. Like, he has an understanding of all Bay in general. Yes. But we have to split hairs in that arena. Have to find something to Dr. Dog. Like, yeah. running ahead of a hall. And then looping over your shoulder, and that's never going to hurt you in the woods. No. It's never going to hurt you in the woods. Hell, when you're baying a hog 20 minutes in a freaking creek bottom, and your dogs get hot and tired, they, and yeah. the other two and the other two dogs show up there, and they start baying, you can have one walk off and go get him a drink, lay down and cool himself off, and get back to baying. That ain't going to hurt you in the woods. Nope. Not at but all. we're not in the woods. We're not in the woods. This is a rodeo. This all is, right. a, this, you that's, know, it's different. That's right. You know, we have to, you know, you have to have eye contact. You have to maintain eye contact for what we're doing. Not saying that you can't get away with that shit. Who can't? I mean, it don't matter what you do in the woods. Mm -hmm. And first off, you ain't going to know what they did anyways if you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, and that's that's the whole reason I started going to Hawk Bay, so I could actually see what my dogs were doing. Yeah, exactly. I was exactly. like, I said, I wonder what they're actually doing. And I'd heard about Hickory Crossing. That was the first place I'd went to. And then from Hickory Crossing, you know, I went all in Georgia. And, yeah. uh, you know, I'd seen social media. I'd heard about Goose. And and and, and when Jake took over everything, I was, I was kind of watching it. So I was like, well, I'm going to go out here. And it was a whole different style of baying out there. It's a whole different deal. Uh, yes. You know, it, it's more it's a, it's a more intense. Uh, yeah. generally the hogs were a lot rougher, uh, right. and, and more, and they had just had more hogs. Well, they have different laws as well. So they're allowed to, and in yeah. Georgia, it was, you know, you had a certain set of hogs and I knew every hog's name, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, it, and when you go somewhere to where there's a, you know, there's 200 head of hogs there and it's like, you, you just know that's one bad son bitch over there. And that one over there runs a lot. That's only, that's the only hogs I know. <laughs> that's right. and so but to be able to see what my dogs were doing that's when i started going to those and uh mm -hmm. but in the woods yeah you don't know what the hell that dog's doing no so, I mean, so it, you, it don't it don't matter as long as you show up there yeah. and the hog's still there and you can send your cat dog and you go catch one when you i don't I, care i don't care what he does i don't care how many times he looks out i agree you know it I don't agree. matter you know uh but i'll say this too the reason why pin dogs have they, they can be successful in them woods is because do you understand what kind of drive it takes for a dog to stare at one for eight minutes without looking out? I, I was what? totally, I was way off on that when I first got into it. I was like, man, this ain't nothing. And uh, yeah. got humbled real freaking quick. And then when I, I got my first couple of dogs that were, from, you know, from, dog, from Bay Pen Stock, they are some high strung some of bitches. I mean, they have got some energy. They drive. they have drive that is unreal. So the main thing about what we get what like I feel like the Bay Pen has saved Catahoo. Because yeah. listen, in two, 2013, when I first started 
getting into hog band, like, and even hog, I mean, granted, I've always hog hunted before, but I didn't, I mean, I didn't keep a line of dogs. I, mean, yeah. I went from the time I was 24 years old when I got rid of my last hunting dog to the time I was probably whatever, however old I was in 2013, 36. I didn't, for 10 years, I didn't own a dog. I didn't own a hunting dog. And so when I started getting back going, I was getting some dogs that I could go hunt with, and I wanted to maybe go to the bay pen and compete with. Yeah. And I started getting out of who, and I could not get it. I couldn't even do it. Dude, these, these suckers be a year old and not even look dog. Yep. And I'm like, what? And i like, it, clearly this ain't working. But as this bay pen got bigger and bigger and people were breeding for the bay pen. Yep. They're breeding. They're breeding they're a lot breeding better dogs. Wood. They're breeding such a higher caliber of dog now. And I can take any of my, my baby dogs, bring them to the woods. Once they understand, once they figure out that there's monsters and there's freaking hogs running around <laughs> in the woods, once they get that part, like, through their, man, that's, they are go get it. They got more drive. They hunt harder. They, they burn it. They're, they're looking for tracks. They're not as, like, obviously, some hounds are just so cold nose they can pick up on a track. But a lot of times, they'll pick up on one that's so old, they're going to be 800 to a, a mile, 800 yards to a mile behind that hog. Mm, and yep. <laughs> once they start barking, they get the hog up, and that hog, if he's already a mile ahead of you, you know how long he can trot and stay ahead of you? Oh, yeah. A long dang time. long time. So I don't, I can't, I can't say that I can go out there Still hound guys and constantly, you know, and, and, and consistently compete and on on bumping a track and running one for miles and miles and miles. No, I I got a hound that will do that, and I got a cur dog that will stick right there with him. Yeah, and he will stay with him. But I mean, I catch hogs with my cur dog. My hound has never stopped. Me. Not once. Right. Not once. He's never stopped. Me. Now. I ain't saying that I, I've seen other hounds do it. I've seen faster hounds. My hound ain't that fast. <laughs> but he can, and I can count on him to hit a track and get everything started. Yeah. And once my cur dogs go to, once they can get close enough to where they can smell a track, they finish. Yeah, they, they just kind of take over and use that speed and, yep. and get ahead. Yep. They I, will get I, ahead. I know several people that, that, that st- I mean, that's the way they hunt. They have a colder nosed dog. Yeah. Generally a hound and he'll he a lot of times they'll road hunt him or rig hunt him or yeah. cast him, whatever. And then when they get it started, they'll get mm-hmm. you know, they'll go cut off or somewhere or pack and pack some dogs to him. Most time yeah. it's gonna be cur dogs or cur dog crosses, and that's what right. that's what catches the hog. That that's the ones that yeah. are running and catch and, and stopping it. Uh yeah. but when 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 I first started years and years ago, I would not right. own a catahoula. At, no, at all. I had a few, that's but that's what was my point. Was dude, you're exactly that, right. That, you I, could I, not I wouldn't find have. a decent. No, the only ones I found would bite you. That's oh, all they would they do. They were they were real pretty. They yeah. were super pretty. Oh man, yes, yeah. Lord, they were beautiful dogs. But They'll bite your ass because, but they would not that's hunt because once once hog band kind of like there was a lull in hog band before Jake took took back over the rain. Yeah, and you, hog band was was dead. It was it was all but dead. Like there wasn't there wasn't two shows worth going to, and you might have had a fifty inches in the two dog and, and 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 eleven in the one dog, and that's all you had. There was hardly anything. First one and, I went to, we did every bit of it in one day. Yeah, exactly. I mean the that's whole the whole freaking thing, all the classes, the bay off, the whole the whole damn thing was one yep. day on a Saturday. That was in Corinth, right. Mississippi. Yep. And nowadays, but that's because that now we're breeding more and more for this, for these competitions. Yeah. But that don't, that, that, the, the, that's what got these Catahoulas back. You can get it. Nowadays, you can find, you can find a bunch of damn Catahoulas that people are running that hunt. Yeah. And when you find that, they say like a Catahoula is kind of like, every, you know, a cat always jokes about blue tick. Says, uh, he said the best dog he ever seen in the world was a blue tick, but he's the only one he's seen worth a damn. He yeah. went through three hundred of them to find one goose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and, and that's uh, that's what I was that that's where we were at with the Catahoulas twenty years ago, f- uh-huh. fifteen years ago, really. Uh, like I knew a couple guys that were consistently breeding, but they were not hog dogs. 
they, hell, they were treating squirrels and coons. Or, yeah. You know, and that, that was it, and winning shows. Uh, but until I got into the bay pens, like I said, I, I, I had I had a few Catahoulas, but yeah. uh, that just never had nothing that would work. And, 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 and now I do. Yeah, <laughs> I've I got mean, a couple that will, will get it. Yeah, I think you got one named Dove. Don't you say she go out and find you a hog too? She, uh, I, I tried to hold her back as long as I could, Randy. I, I said, you know, I don't want to get her in the woods. You know, I, this, I don't want to. I, 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 I want to keep her in the pen because she done really good in the pen. She's yeah. just, you know, she's so high strung. She's almost, she's like Pat. She's just, yeah. She gets the man when she goes to baying, that whole her whole body is shaking. Like that son of a bitch is just like a little crackhead. But I, I, I messed around and carried her hunting. And I have, I, I mean, I ain't, we don't practice or none of that. Didn't do no mock hunts. Didn't do none of that shit. Uh, carried her out, dumped her out. And, uh, she took off. The, the older dogs actually went one direction and she started out with them. Then she veered off to the left. She made a loop. She come back out. She goes hundred yards, two hundred yards, three hundred, and just keeps going. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's a damn main road over there. And uh, luckily, Rodney and Nate was headed down to that end and uh, hollered at him. And and the dogs actually turned and come back. And I, I actually called her back. I was like, wait a minute now. I said I, I wasn't ready for all that. I thought we was just gonna let her get out of the box. She was gonna take a leak and you know piss around for a few <laughs> minutes. Uh, that son of a bitch went gone. Yeah, want to go find something. Well, uh, she will as soon as turkey season's over. We're gonna see about that. Oh, I, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put her wide open. I, I'm dead serious. I don't think there'll be a one ounce of problem for that dog. Uh, yeah. An- another success story is the uh, the pup that Nathan got from Gene Reynolds. Uh, mm-hmm. That little Eminem pup. It, you know, Catahoula. Yeah. Uh, like we were talking about the 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 breeds coming back you know uh that pup right there was out doing lead dogs last year at 10 months old yeah nine ten months old we dropped him and there were several hunts where it's just him doing the whole yeah. deal uh nate's got some videos on uh on youtube uh yeah and so that that goes to show you like you said these dogs are they're getting better uh let's see who else ryan's got a dog didn't did did ryan get a dog from you or the Carter. 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 Okay, Carter's yeah. yeah. That's right. That Bob Swayze. Yeah. And, and that son yeah. bitch right Crazy there. Swayze. Dude. Yeah. That dog. Hell, he didn't he win. He won something at Uncle Earl's. And I mean, yeah. they, they caught, I don't know how many hogs with him all week, but the whole yeah. week of <laughs> Earl's yeah. in Texas and then showed up out there yeah. and then won in the pen. Yeah. So, th- hey, did you see? So, so, so Carter, Carter's dog won the Woods class. Yeah. With, with Bob Swayze. The dog, uh, that, that he's a new guy that's friend of the sportsman. Dog's named Five O. Yeah, <laughs> Five O and One Two. <laughs> yeah, Five O. Yeah, and One Two. Five so O and Twelve. You, yep. So Five O won the sportsman. You know where Five O come from? Well, that's Goose's brother. Really? <laughs> yeah. I did not yeah. know that. They was hunting. Yeah, that guy. That guy got him from. Uh, a guy, uh, I sold him to a buddy of mine. He wasn't, wasn't doing what he wanted to in the pen. He yeah. wasn't gonna win. He wasn't gonna win. You know, like he just he he's I don't know. He 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 have a he he'd have a a mess up or two. He'd run you a nine eight nine seven, uh, and he he might bay you a ten here and there. Yeah. And uh, uh, that guy told me he said I got the, he said he he told me where he got him from and they, and I was like, but yeah, that's that's Goose's brother. He's like yeah. He won the sportsman, got him a big old belt buckle. <laughs> so he had, said, I paid, he paid $250 for it. No shit. <laughs> good Lord. Um, see, I can't, I can't fall into no good deals like that. So you got, you got some pups right now? Yeah, I do. Really? I do. Well, yes, we, I do. we're going to, we're, look, we're going to do the, the Shankathon hunt. Uh, yep. We, we just posted the dates on it. I think it's going to be, uh, the May 18th through the, yep. the 20 something. Uh, it, the big boar score, you, it's basically, it's a virtual hunt, the way in and all that. Uh, yeah. so, so you listeners, y'all check that out. One thing, uh, and Man. I'm, I'm going to talk to Randy here 
after we get done with this or in the next day or two, and I might buy a pup and 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 put it up for a for a prize for for somebody. You know, you know how cool yeah. that would be. You win a woods hunt, and I get yeah. you a pup. Hey, mm-hmm. we might we might we might have to do something on that. Yeah, we'll have to uh, I, we'll have to put put our minds to what we need to do, but yeah, we can definitely definitely uh, uh, throw some incentive down. You know, oh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. We 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 might have to work out something. I don't know. No. Uh, I don't know if some of these woods guys they uh they might not can handle some of that power. They ain't been used to that. You know, man. S- some of these guys got these cur dogs. Man, I've heard people talking shit on cur dogs. They're like, show me a cur dog that'll take a. a more, you know, that'll take a four-hour track, and I'm like, I don't want one. The fuck, I don't want one. Why, why? Want that old. First, exactly. I was thinking, say, get, you got a cold nose hound. What the hell, you need yeah. something like? But I mean, uh, I got some that'll take a four-hour track. I know. And, I, I mean, mate, I don't know how old. It, man, but I don't, I don't need you want them. Me to, you know, I don't I, need what nothing I that love old. Is how, how somebody like literally can sit there and walk up and look at a track and yeah. tell the difference whether that's a two-hour hey. old track. Let me or tell you. Three hour old all right, track. so me and how me, do you do that? All right, we think a lot alike on that part, right? So I, I've got a dog. I got a got a yellow dog named Matt. I got from Jonathan Thompson, and he is a good dog. I mean, a solid a solid dog. So we were talking about him being a little colder nosed than some of the other cur dogs. I said yeah. he seems to just want to take, a, you know, a hotter track, but I know he's got a colder nose, so. We pull up, and I got a, a, a bait station out and got cameras and all that stuff. I see the hog go in. I see the hog, all right? Yeah. I leave. We go to the other end of the property. We go do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. I come back, and it's three hours and 20 minutes. Yeah. I drop him. He goes 780 yards, strikes the hog takes him 1.6 miles and bays the hog and we kill the yeah. hog. So I said, you know what? That This hog had a distinctive mark while he was on the camera. I, yeah. I, I knew the hog, you know, I seen right. the hog physically go in. So for three and a half hours, I know he took that track with no problem. Yeah. But now that's the only track I know how long he took because <laughs> I had but, that but, some bitch time because I can't look at a track and tell you it's six hours old. Yeah, let me. That was what I was fixing to say. How, how the here, fuck are you gonna do that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, hear mother, I hear all the hog hunters, all these freaking phone. That's a twelve-hour track. I, I yeah, don't know how old it is. There, they'll, they'll go and tell you how old this track is by looking. They're looking at all oh, that track's about three, four hours old. Let me tell you what I did the other day. <laughs> we were hog hunting. I watched them cross the road in front of us. Yeah. And we ended up turning out on them. We ran that hog and ran that hog. And this is I, this is when I had my ham. I didn't even have my, my cur dog yeah. with me. We run this sucker. I, we ran it for about, I think it was about five hours. You know what? I went back when we were riding back over there to get back to our truck where we parked. I looked at them same tracks. They looked exactly looked the same exactly as the they same. did five hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that track was freaking 10 minutes old or yeah. an hour old. I got you. But you know, I mean, like, I do get it. There's there's a lot of of distinct characteristics that you learn man. over the years. But like, I cannot tell you how old a track is. I, Ain't nobody can tell I, you I how tell, old unless they saw the hog and they knew what time it and, was. And that's what I said. That's the only time I could tell you. I know for sure that that dog took that track very very easily. Now that hog might have not went very far. Like I said, he struck him less than eight hundred yards. But at the same time. You know, uh, he he generally will only run a track that's hotter than the other dogs. And I was like, well, I know he's got a colder nose because there was a couple times yeah. the track just looked older. I don't know how old it yeah. was, but it looked older. And he would always yeah. pick out every single hog that he bayed was a big boar, a big toothy yeah. boar every single yeah. time. So, And everybody's like, well, he just yeah. does that. I said, well, they put off more scent. They think more, yeah. That's that's you ball, know, what I, it boils down to. Yeah, I'm like, so yeah. he he's over here while the other dogs. Mm-hmm. I've got we got ten dogs over here that's wearing beating the bushes to death, and old Matt's over here just piddle dicking around, and then all of a sudden yeah. he'll get he'll he'll go to the backside of it and and he'll bait one. Right. Now you yeah, know that, 
Hey. I, here's what I've, I can tell you what my expert advice because I got some expert advice because I've been around hog dog people yeah. for quite a long time. It's probably been, it's at least been over 10 years now. And I know people like Uncle Pat. And I know one thing about hog dog people every single one of them has one common trait. You know yeah. what that is? What's that? They all a little full of shit. They full of shit so, a lot. <laughs> they, they full of shit. So, and one uh, other thing I know is they can say things with a whole lot of confidence. And the more full yes. of shit they are, the more confidence they have in what they say. Yes. And they'll start, oh, yeah, that's, like, that's, that's a three, four-year-old track. That's a three, four-hour-old track right there. Let's sit in. Yeah. And, and see, I, I don't – me and Nate were at a property yesterday, and, like, the man, the rooting and everything, it, it looked it, it, it looked like it was several days old. Yeah. You know? And the landowner, he's like, yeah, they were, they were in the field last night right there. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, well, damn, I missed that pretty, you know, pretty bad. Well, I mean, you, I'm like, well, it, you have, it, like if it rains and stuff. You and can, and it, that's what it was it. doing. It had rained, you know, yeah. so it, it don't look that fresh. So on a track, yeah. if it rains, how the hell, I mean, how do you know? You don't. You don't. You just you cast guess on it. And if your dog can pick it up, he can pick it up. Yep. If he can't, it, it you know. I've seen, I see these Facebook, uh, you know, the wanted ads, you know, the guys, I'm looking for a dog that can take a six hour cash old in track. hand boys. Yeah. I'll pay $2,500 cat. Well, yeah, I'm sure you would. Yeah. Sure. You would. And and that's but, the thing people that, you know, like the coon dog world is it, a whole nother level. Like, yeah. like you're talking about $2,500 for a dog that like, like we're talking about in the hog dog world. I mean, yeah. twenty five hundred bucks. That some bitch better find you a hog every single time. Bring it back to you. Cook it. Do all the whole nine yards. Get you a cold beer. In the yeah. co- in the coon dog world, shit. You you you're talking twenty five thousand and up. Yeah. I mean, my for, my puppies my puppies when they when they're born and before they open their eyes they're twenty five hundred dollars. And, and I look, I I but, I don't see anything I, wrong with that. But I got but yeah, there there's there's one person that's gonna do that. Yeah. And, uh, but, and I'm not, that ain't, that's just because of the social media. And that's because, of, I mean, obviously the dog had to be good. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't just promote him without having, you know, a, yeah. a factual, you know, stats and numbers and, mm-hmm. and good videos to back everything up that, that I say he is. But now, however, there's a man in North Texas, yeah. he gets $3,500 for his pups that are, well, they're not puppy puppies, but they're, they're young dogs. Uh, Usually yeah. you're going to get them at six to eight months old and they're 3,500 bucks. He, gu- he guarantees yeah. them. Hey, if that, if, if it don't act right, it, if it don't start by a certain time or certain age, bring it back. He'll give you another one or give you your money back. But yeah. he, he uh, has a very, uh, very good reputation. And like you said, it had to start from somewhere or he wouldn't be sold out all the time. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, my, every every dog I got got a guarantee. And you you go, sold you, you sold the last litter. How long did it take to sell it? Well, I don't know, fifteen, sixteen minutes. As yeah. soon as I post, uh, that's what I'm saying. So you, there's there's a reason and, why. And man, I hate listen. I listen. I hate selling things. I hate it because you you you. I'll have seventy seven unread med red unread messages in my inbox. And you go through there, and you want to try to respond in order. Yeah. You know, so I start at the top, and I respond to whoever, you know, the, the post. I go down and try to respond and go up the list. And then, man, they're, they're asking more than, like, like they're asking so many questions. Oh, I know. Uh, and I'm like. I can only imagine. Like, who's who's the mama? And and this is somebody like, like man, the goose is the daddy, brother. Like, I don't, the mama is another obviously it's something i've read too i mean you think i i mean i don't you're not gonna know her but i can tell you her name yeah but are you you're not gonna know her she's not you know she's not she's you know not I mean? goose she's not goose she's goose's sister or she's goose's half sister she's yeah you know i mean like that's how i'm breeding i'm usually breeding his cousins and nieces well i mean you, know, but you wouldn't be breeding him to just any dog for but when i that doesn't when make I sense answer, when I get through answering six questions and somebody, well, let me ask my wife and I'll get back with you. All that, no. You ain't got, let me let me tell you, you don't have that kind of time, brother. No. As soon as I get through with this message, I'm moving on to the next one. Yep. And before I get through the next 
all these unread messages, I'm not going to have anymore. You don't have 10 minutes. You have, here's what you got. You got an option to send me a deposit. If your wife tells you no, guess what? You're out $500. Yep. That's it. Cause I, I don't know what else to tell you because I'm not, I, I'm not going to sit here and, and like, I'm like, I don't know what, and I don't mean to be ugly about it, but I'm just, it, it is very frustrating to answer eight questions and then have somebody come up with it. Well, I got to ask permission. And the thing about it is most of those people should never even contact you because in their right mind, and they know this, and, and I'm sure there'll be people that get offended and I don't really care. Yeah, I don't but, either. But right, if, yep. if you got to if you gotta say, man, let, let me ask my wife if I can buy that. You, you had no intention of buying that. You had zero mm. fucking intention. You were just interested in it, and it piqued your interest, and you just wanted to find shit out. Well, all you got to do is contact me at a different date or a different time and just bullshit with me a little bit and I'll let you know, yeah. but don't, don't waste my time when we're trying to do business. Yeah. We're inquiring about dogs. I had a, I had a guy and this dude messages me. He says, like he, he's inquiring about the dogs. And I'm like, look, man, two, I got two. I had, there was a time I had four started puppies available. I said, I've got deposits, but I also had four deposits, four. Here's, here's what I had. I had four, started puppies and i had two that were just opened their eyes like six weeks old that i already had deposits on the guys could not show up with their dogs so they're back on the market i got the already got paid the deposit like but they didn't come get them so they're available again well yeah i posted these puppies i said i have and uh the the other two the two people that that literally i said this is what i got and this is what it costs to get one. And they sent me a deposit. They didn't even tell me what dog they wanted. Yep. They didn't ask me 15 questions. They're not they just bullshitting. Told, I think, you know, yeah, they're not bullshitting. They're, they're, hey, they're serious. They want a dog. Yep. They didn't even tell me if they wanted one of the puppies or if they wanted a started dog. But they, but they locked theirs in. But they locked theirs in. Yep. And then this kid, he goes, he met, I said, this kid, I don't know. He, I thought he was an adult. I come to find out he's not even, I mean, he's some kind of kid. He's in his, He's over eighteen. He's he's, he's yeah. old enough to he, old enough to know better. Yeah, he's young. So, so this old boy messaged me. He said he said I want all. He said how I, he said I'm, he said I tell you what, I want all four of them. I'll pay double your your asking price, but I want all the started though. I said well let me message these two guys if they're okay with taking puppies. Done deal. Yeah. I said but you do want, but understand this. You don't have to pay double, but you're paying twenty five hundred dollars a piece for each started dog. So you owe you owe me ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars, yeah. And and uh, I said now I ask these other guys. So I slide back to the other message. Hey man, do you want a you want a puppy like a or you want one of these started dogs? Guys like man, I really don't care. I'll I'll take a puppy if you got one that he's like that way I can. I said that's good, perfect. That's the other guy. Do you mind taking a puppy or you want one of the started dogs? Guy says. Man, I don't care. I'll take a puppy or a starter dog. Don't matter to me. No problem. So I messaged him back. I go to get it back on the messages, and he already offered me nine thousand. Wait, wait. First off, you offered me double. Yeah. First. Never- <laughs> and I tell you, no, just pay the full price, but you can get all four of them, and it's ten thousand dollars. Now you're offering me a thousand dollars less. So I tell him, I said, look, man, I'm not gonna take a thousand dollars less, but I've got, I w- I'd forgotten that I'd gotten back a dog that I had bred and I, I, I had been raised. It's actually Goose Jr.'s litter mate sister. I, I sent him to TJ to get him bred to a dog and it, she never came in heat. So I got her back. I said, I'll tell you what, man. I said, I won't do that, but I will throw in another dog and you can get five of them and you'll, and I'll pay, I'll charge you the 10,000. Yeah. So he's, I don't hear from him for like, 15 minutes and i'm like i messaged him back hey look you got to send a deposit like now i said and your deposit is going to have to be the cost of one pup which is 2500 for me to hold these yeah and then the dude he replies he replies back will you take a boat and some cash what What? now you're now you're offering me a a boat i don't need a boat I, i I don't need a boat. As a matter of fact, dude, I'm fixing to sell them off because I'm. I got. I still got 
a whole bunch more messages to go through. But if I can sell them all to one guy, of course, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. It, it simplifies things. And then the dude says, man, look, I'll just be real honest with you. Oh, so now we're being honest. We've been, we're six <laughs> minutes. We're six messages deep, and, now, and we're just now being honest. I'll be honest with you. I only got a thousand bucks. Can I get a dog for a thousand? Can I get one puppy? I said, man, you offered me first double the price of some, what somebody else was going to pay. And now come to find out you ain't even got enough money to pay for half of one of these things. Holy shit. I'm like, man, forget my number. Yeah. Matter of fact, I don't care. <laughs> like, dude, you're not getting nothing. I would you're not even getting it. Like if you've had 10,000 today, you're not getting these now. That's yeah. And you just wait. I was like, man, that's all that bullshit. I said, I said, I said, let, I, said I gave him a little word of advice. I said, look, man, next time you're dealing with somebody, anybody worth dealing with is going to see right through your bullshit. Yep. I said, so don't try to lie to nobody because anybody worth dealing with is going to know you're lying. And yeah. I knew you were lying from Jump Street. And I just, I, 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 I wanted to, I wanted to make sure I pulled it out of you. Man, that's and, crazy. And, and here we are. You know, I, I mean, I knew right away. It, it didn't take me long. Like once, once he was offering me 9,000, I was like, he ain't got a dollar. Like this dude can't, like I knew right then and there, like, dude, no, you ain't got, you're not going to go for, you're, first off, nobody's going to offer double. Just, I mean, nah, anybody yeah. that's doing real business is just going to say, hey, I'll get off. What would I have to do to get off four of them? Yeah, that's what I say. Most of the time, I'm going to say, hey, if I buy all four of them, you know, can you do a little better on the price? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm going I'm I'm to try to get a little little better deal instead yeah, of just saying, no. I'll give you double. Because like you said, that's yeah, that's a red flag. Yeah, it was. I mean, from Jump Street, I knew. But I'm like, man, this is what makes things hard to sell. That That's what makes selling hard. Yeah. And, and I, I just don't, I can't. I don't have the patience. I could, I could probably do way better on selling puppies. I do not have patience to deal with <laughs> the, the, the questions about stuff that don't matter. You know, like people ask me, "Will you, how will your dogs take a six-hour old track?" I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, just, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you tell them I mean, how, however old it is. Like, do you want me to watch a hog cross the road in front of me and wait six hours to cast them? I don't it, think yeah. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I yep. ain't doing it. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Not, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I would love to know how the the actual timing works because I mean, if there's if there's somebody out there that can actually time a track and has a method that that really works, and y'all are listening, please let me know. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, I'm not bullshitting a bit. Uh, I, I do, I do agree that you can look at a track and tell, hey, it's an it, age track. It, yeah, I mean, you can tell if it's happened in the in the last day or so because I mean, yeah. usually you've had some sort of rain or something. Because you know, if you, you got, get a spider web in it, <laughs> yeah. What kind of soil do you have? You know, is it sandy? Yeah. Is it is it mud? Is it like we yeah. we we have a lot of rock? Like there's yeah. not even there's not a track at all. Like, yeah, they, they ran across exactly. rock. <laughs> yeah i i don't even have a lot of i have i mean there's mud or like that red mud yeah and i've seen some track i can say yeah hey, that's pretty fresh i can say fresh I, that, I mean they've been here that means they've been here in the last 12 hours yep you know and uh because i know whether it's rained or not you know what i mean yeah and but we I, got we got I, one spot that's like three that. hours or five hours or, or, or 30 minutes yeah it, we got one spot that it's on our lease and it's one little swag in the road and the hogs cross there all the time. But yeah, it's just a lot of sand. And I'm telling mm -hmm. you, like I, I pull up there and I'm like, dude, get the dogs out. This shit looks like it just happened. And them dogs won't even look like they, they look yeah. at me like, what are we doing? The track's yeah. so old, you know? And then the next time you go through there, the track looked like it's three days old dog would take it and they'll go bay it 40 yards out there. Hey, mm -hmm. I, I don't get it. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah, man, it's it's tough. That's why I, I have just, dogs. I, I I don't read the track. Right. They do. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't need. I don't know. I don't. I just they just got to do it. I'm yeah. gonna all I'm gonna do is my best to get them close, and I'm gonna send them, and, and we're gonna see what turns up. That's that's all we I, can do, I, brother. I've definitely 
shifted my focus on hunting here lately. I mean, I haven't really, I mean, dude, I got a good pack of dogs. I don't, that's the thing too about baying, bay pen versus woods. You got to hunt with dogs. Yep. Bay pen dogs, you ain't got, you got to keep them in shape, feed them right. Uh, that's the, that's, I mean, this, that, bay, that's what I, I try to tell a lot of hunters. Like, dude, bay pen is the easiest job of it all. We got it. We got it so much easier than hunting. Oh I mean, yeah. You got for hunting dogs. You got to. You got to. You got to put them on track. You got to constantly hunt them. You're not going to go out and uh, if you're not feeding your dogs tracks, you, you know. Yeah, you're losing. You're losing ground. Yeah, they're, they're not. That you, you'll see them get rusty. Oh. Dude, I could. I could hold goose out of the pen for a year. I could stop baying him. This time, I could literally not go to the rest of the bays this year, show up to Uncle Earl's next year, and he's going to be the same dog he was the last time you've seen him. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was some of the first advice that you, that I ever got from anybody, uh, Drew Todd. Because I was talking about the, the dogs, you know, when I first got him, he said, well, I said, well, how often do I need to bay him? He's like, well, he just bait a 10. I said, yeah. He said, just whenever you bring him to the pen. I said, so okay. I, do I need to like work him every week and all that? He said, just keep him, you know, exercise him, feed him good, uh, and then he'll do the rest of it. He's like, you, you, the job's done. Yeah. And I was Works like, I was like, really? And and no joke. Like I I I I mean, I think I skipped the last two or three bays before Earl's, and uh, it, there really wasn't no difference. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now my yeah. hunting dogs. Dude, if I if I don't run them dogs, man, they it's you know, I, yeah. I have to take them out two or three times to get them back to get them back going. Right. And I'm no no you. no matter how old the dog is, yes, they will find a hog. If I put them in hogs, they yeah, they'll find a hog. But yeah. there's that like you said, they're rusty. <clears throat> yeah, like back trailing is a thing, you know, they'll they're gonna you know, if you if you're not hunting them all the time, they back trailing becomes a big thing. Hell, if I if I even when I'm hunting them all the time, if I'm casting them the first time on something real hot, they're gonna back trail. Yeah, like I, maybe just because they're young and they're you know, and I know the hound is bad about it because especially when it, the hotter it is, the worse he is. Yeah, because he, he's like that a five minute old track and a you know, and a twenty minute old track smells the same. You know, what yeah, I mean? to him, he's yeah, like, he, he, yeah, which direction he. Yeah, he's so damn cold nose. He, it all smells hot to him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he'll get he'll get going and he'll have to double back. Oh man, he'll double back on me several times. Uh, if I if I know I'm coming up on something hot, I don't even I ain't gonna cast him. I'm just like if I see one cross the road, the best thing for me to do is leave him in the box and send my freaking car off. Yeah. Usually, because, if we if we have something cross the road. You know, if I if I can physically see it, generally what I'll do is I'll I'll just bypass it and give it about fifteen minutes and then come back, ease up there. You know, depending on the area, because there's some areas yeah. where there's there's a ton of pressure and that some bitch is not going to stop. He's just going to go. So yeah, you, he's you, running wild. Yeah, so you got to dump it on him. But like my my private leases that I hunt, you know, yeah. generally I, I'll 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 make a loop and I'll come back, put out on him and and. You know, we'll with ninety nine percent of the time we're going to catch the hog pretty close. Yeah, but that's but my if next question for you. What's that? When are we going? Man, turkey season goes out. I think we we did a a whole thing over the U.S. to find out when all the turkey seasons went out, and I think May sixteenth was going to be like the latest season that we could find that somewhere in that yeah. area, May sixteenth or the eighteenth. I think it was the last weekend. And that's when we're going to start the Shankathon hunt. So anytime after that, we're able to go hunt. You can buy a, a an actual baiting permit here. It's fifteen dollars a year, and uh, I promise okay. you, since that went into effect, if you ain't putting corn out, you ain't catching nothing. Because mm. brother, everybody's got corn. Uh, oh yeah, I'm talking about like I I, I usually put out. Uh, I'm going to say six hundred pounds a week every week holy shit <laughs> I, hey this is no joke my truck right now has a drum on the back of it that has not moved since i i, I got that truck 
Damn. I keep a drum of corn in there, and I keep 55-gallon drums of peanuts. I got 20 of them right here behind my building. Yeah. All right, full of peanuts. I take them peanuts, and then we uh, we got another little secret sauce that we put on it. Uh, my brother-in-law, Joe Deal, he got us hooked up, and we got some high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> and uh, let me tell yeah. you something. When you, when you put that out, on top of that corn or what we'll do is dig a hole a little bit then pour that in there put the corn on it mm -hmm. throw the peanuts to it let me tell you them some bitches yeah. will dig a hole they'll get down there to china and then, oh, they'll, yeah. then they'll go lay up in the briars about 20 yards from there and it's just really? a, it's a massacre uh, I like that. So <laughs> you know, I, I always I'll, I always take some freaking like some raspberry flavored jello. Yeah. And I throw that either on my corn or I, like you said, I'll dig a hole and I'll just yeah. bury it. That's what we did for years until we found that corn syrup. And, uh, man, after we, we used that, I was like, holy shit. No, this is the only thing we'll use. Like the, it, le got, it leaches into the ground. And so they'll literally, they'll just keep digging and digging and digging. It, they'll, they'll wear one spot out, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And, and shoot, this time of year, I'll take old like tractor tire. Yeah. And I'll fill it. I'll fill it with some uh, some like uh, some old burnt motor oil. Yeah. And man, they get well, they want to get them bugs off of them. They love it. And they'll get in that tractor tire and just roll around in that. And only bad thing about that, it sucks is when you got to catch an oily hog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that corn syrup, yeah. that corn syrup's the same way. You grab one that's been rolling around in that shit, you're gonna know it real quick. Oh yeah, dude, you'll, you'll be, be sticky. sticky as hell. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> sticky as hell. But when you got one that's you know, two fifty with some two and a half, three inch teeth on it, you know, I don't mind it. I don't mind it either. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Either. I don't. I don't care if it's don't forty pounds, really. <laughs> yeah, I don't care either. As long as my dogs are going out there finding hogs. That's or, it. As a matter of fact, I don't even care if it's my dog. Uh, as long as I'm whoever I'm with, as long as we're catching hogs, it's not competition. That's it's right. Hog that's right. I just want to have a good time and. uh that Shankathon, when it when is that just starting? They said it's in May. Yeah, that's gonna be May May seventeenth through the oh. yeah through the twenty eight. It'll be from one weekend to the next weekend. Okay, it, it's a full you, that way. You know, people that 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 work shift work. Uh, say if you're off on Monday and Tuesday, you can still hunt. Sure. You know what so I mean? Is this is this is this isn't like a team thing? This is like an no, individual. It, no, it it's a team. Well, you can put together a team. Uh, you can have a four man yeah. team. And what we done, uh, since everything's virtual, we uh we allow you to have a, a somebody to film everything, and you don't have to pay for that person yeah. to be on the team. It's just free. Yeah. You know they can't they can't hunt. They can't you know handle dogs and they can't own the dogs or none of that. They just, all they do is film for well, you. And then Hannah's my, Hannah is my freaking filmer. All right. There you go. Uh, and then uh, you, now every, every now and then she'll grab a lead though. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, you know, and that's one thing about it. There's, you know, uh, the rules will go over those. And what yeah. I do, we have the rules written down, but it's kind of like you were talking about with the bay pen stuff. Randy, what I'll do is, is I'll make some, some videos. And I'll post yeah. them, and I'll be like, "Look, guys, if if this happens in this scenario, it'll be yeah. okay." Or, you know, whatever. You know, like yeah. if if you've got somebody that's running a camera here, and your dog just got cut down, and you need to hand that dog to them, dude, I'm not yeah. going to disqualify you for that. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're that the. I mean, she she's she's the type though that like she's got somebody like. Like she'll she'll ride it like she'll get on the buggy and drive up and meet me somewhere. Yeah, she's not going in there putting her hands on no hog. Yeah, now she'll stand she'll stand over and take a picture with me though. Yeah, and see, and that's that's all that that that's the main thing. So when you're when you sure. do the video, we've got a, a you know step by step deal on how to do the video and present everything. You weigh your yeah. hogs in the woods. You don't have to stack a bunch of dead hogs up or or put them in a trailer and haul them around and carry them to a way station. Hell, I, you can I, buy a set of portable scales. Uh, we all use the same scales. They're like, like 30, thirty-five bucks. Stuff? Yep. Because see, yeah. some states you can you people want to keep their hogs alive, and they can weigh them. Okay. And so, yeah, so and, we can we like, can tie. I can tie them, and then yeah, yeah, and uh, and then you can kick them back out when you're done. See, here in Alabama, we can't. We got to we got to kill everything as soon as we catch it. You know. So yeah. it, it, 
and when we do tournaments here, uh, man, we did one last year for the Dog Hunters Association. We 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 got to compete in it, and uh, I think we won longest stringer, longest tusk. We we won several things anyway, but yeah. we had to drive three and a half hours to the weigh-in with a trailer full of hogs that had been dead for a couple of days, and it was a hundred degrees. Yeah. Oh man, man, that's tough. And then when we got there, there's, you know, you got to, they got to dispose of all these hogs. So that's a big cleanup. So when we started doing the virtual deal, that eliminated all that right there. Yeah. And so the process of doing the video, that that's where it really comes in to, for everybody to be on point when they turn in their videos. So that way, Woo. No, nobody's the only thing cheating. I have a, only, only thing I have a worry about is how am I gonna measure them damn teeth when that sucker's alive? Oh, it, it, ain't, <laughs> it ain't nothing to it, man. Look, you just grab I it. You stick, 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 stick a, a, a lamb in his mouth. Yeah, something, put something know? in there to let him bite on. Like, just reach over there and measure. It. I'm, I'm working on yeah. a thing right now, so that way when we when we do this, it's it's going to be to measure tusk. Uh, I can't say what all it is right now but it'll it'll simplify oh, it so much hey my phone can do that you know that yeah you, you yeah they've got that? you can measure it with your phone yeah it, and that's the thing about it. I, I looked at doing that and i don't i don't really see a big issue with it as long as every team is on board with using it you know everybody well, use the I same be- app use the same thing yeah, all you have to do is uh, your measure on your uh, on my phone, dude. It is it's very accurate. I used it yeah. in the field, like in uh, measuring pipe, you know, and this and that yeah. and the other. But it is, I mean, it is, is it is it on. is it a certain app that you use it, uh, on my iPhone, or does it just come on your that, iPhone? It, okay. Yeah, it's on my iPhone that says measure. Yeah, and then I hit it, and then you have to put it on the dot, and you and it will actually draw the line from where you start to the end of where you finish. Yeah, and it'll show you exactly to the eighth of an inch how big, how long them teeth are. That's cool. And 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 then you can all you got to do is once you pull it, screenshot it. You'll see the yeah. exact. Well, see that's what I'm saying. So yeah. yeah, that might be something that we can incorporate in there, and it'll help, especially with the live hogs. You know, that's yeah. for damn sure. Yeah, um, yeah let me let yeah, me look into it and uh, and check on a few things and make sure. And if it's something yeah. that we can incorporate. Because like that takes the human error out of it. Because oh, yeah. because no yeah. matter what, we're all human, and somebody yeah. can can measure something. And it, I mean, if they're off an eighth of an inch, well, that don't sound like a lot. But when it comes down to where it's only one point, well, yeah. somebody just that's lost like, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somebody just lost thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah. That's uh. Now it, it's. And you can tell if they if they're off a little bit that their little dot won't be perfect on that yeah on that so you can say hey man you're you're gonna have to remeasure that I just want to say if if we did something like that we could have it to where everybody would do to measure it twice you know what I'm saying if there's if you look at it and there's any doubt in it just go ahead and redo it man because if you look if yeah. I look at it and see the dots not lined up then you you know the dots not lined up too yeah. Oh, there ain't no doubt. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna test it, my theory right now on this walkie talkie while we're sitting here. Yeah. And then Well, I mean, all you'd have to do is take a tape measure, stretch it out, and put one dot on the one inch and then go to the four inch or whatever and it'll tell you that's three inches. Yeah, but I tell you what, it's hard to hold that circuit steady. Well, how much have you been drinking? Uh just a cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good Lord of mercy. Oh, see. <laughs> All right. Uh, what to do? I'm going to screenshot it. Uh, All right. Let's see if this works. I'm going to send that to you. All right. Uh, That uh, yeah, it's apps and everything and the way it's laid out. Yeah. It does the measure it, on it? Yeah. Now I'm off a little bit, you know. Like yeah. I'm not even. That's not the full length, but I mean, dude, I tell you what, that's kind of hard to do to hold it steady. Yeah, and you if that that hog's good. moving his head and doing all that too, yeah, you have to take he that moved. into account. But if yeah. I can, if I can get these things done by before then, 
what I'm going to do is actually send them device every team. Yeah. And then everybody will have the same device to measure with. Yeah, that'd be perfect. You know, it's basically it's just something that you slip over the tusk. It's pretty simple. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, but but it, it it'll be one huh. of, like I said, it's one of them deals. I'll, I'll I'll get it done and I'll send you something so you can at least look at it beforehand. Or yeah, check it, it out, matter. or send you I'm, some I'm pictures, a, or whatever. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a part of it in one way or another. That's right. Uh, I, I just, I mean, I'm, I'm having a good time now hunting. It's, it's uh, fun, ain't it? Uh, man, oh, I've always had a good time. I just, yeah. But I'm just saying, with the, so the competition part, the competition part, yeah. man. After a while, you know, I, I know it's got to just kind of grind on you. You, you know, well, you, like you said, you get people that that get all butt hurt because. They're not winning all the time, and yeah. you are. And you know, if everybody's supposed to be having a good time and be friends, that that can some you know that can interfere with some. Yeah, people. man, it's, you can't beat me when I'm cheering for you, brother. That's right. I, I agree. You can't beat me if I'm cheering for you. And I, I mean, there's a lot of folks that there's just a lot. There's a lot of good people, but you know, there's also a lot of like you said, just the crybabies. Yep. The people that don't do nothing but complain, and it's always the same people. Oh, I, I agree. I've seen but, it firsthand with you know, even with, with people that they're against you, and and I'm like, well, yeah. what it what happened? And there's <laughs> nothing happened. You know, well, man, his dog they didn't call this on it, and I'm like, well, they might not have seen it, and I and I don't know the situation. I wasn't watching. I was busy doing something yeah. else. You know, yeah. I try I try to watch every run that I can. Uh, yeah, but like you said, it's the same deal. I try. I watch yours. Uh, there's two or three other people. I'll, I'll make my way up there and try to watch them. Yeah, but generally I watch my dogs, and I'm yeah. worried about what they're doing. That's right. And but well, I'm it. trying to. But I'm gonna be cheering for you. I try to yeah, cheer I for mean, everybody. You know, man. There, there's a uh, there's so many good folks, and the culture has changed so much. Yeah. I hate to even talk about the, the the bad side of it because the bad side of it is a very very minor. Like it, like you know, we got I don't know how many four hundred some odd teams. I couldn't tell you how many uh, kennel kennels owned all that, but I mean, I'd be willing to bet we're we're close to a hundred different kennels showing up, and then you have, you might have one or two at the yeah. in there. So everybody else is man, they, they understand. You know, they understand, and well, and and the culture changed a lot. It's a, it's yeah. such a good family. Man, the the event. It's a good so, vibe. Yeah, the the, the it, dude. I got my. I mean, I say I got my butt kicked. I had my worst earls. This year was the worst I've ever had. But had a good in, time, in didn't five, you? In five years, yeah. Live band came out to my camp. Yeah. I I, I, did, I didn't win the one dog, but the but the live band was there. That's right. And uh, you know, and they were there last year when I won it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I listened to them Nothing's both times. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. I mean, you can't you can't uh you can't complain about your bad your bad break, uh, and then you know, ignore your good. Yep. You, you gotta be you gotta be open minded. You gotta be you gotta you can't be kennel blind. And that's that's the biggest thing I think is kennel blindness is what causes so much uh, heartache. They cannot see no wrong in their and they do wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I got to, I got I got the best one in the world, and he does wrong from time to time. Yeah, and, and you know he I tell you what, he 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 spun out in the best of the best. You know how long it's been since he spun out? It's been a while, ain't it? Twenty twenty four years, four years since I seen him do that. That's a long damn time. That's a good run. Yeah, that's you think I think I'm mad at him? No, nah. That's just mad. Hey, that's that's just the way it goes. We had. A, we, it wasn't our day, man. We it wasn't our day this time. Uh, he won five Uncle Earl's high points in a row. He didn't win it the sixth time. Yeah. I'm uh, am I disappointed? Not at all. Uh, not at all. <laughs> I, it's uh, I knew I you you gotta know it's gonna happen. You know what yeah, I mean? That, yeah. Like, do you think you're gonna win forever? No, you're not. You're not gonna win it forever. It's I, my dog is not any worse. He is just as good this year as he was last year. Yes. He's, I promise you, he's not. I can see it. He is not any worse. Mm. If anything, he's better. Yep. We just, 
you know, we got to get a little, some things got to get on the same page and a, a few little things happen right for me. And, and, and you're going to see the same dog. You're going to end up, you know, he's he bound to have a, a, a show where he lights it up and gets 20 points. Yeah. You don't ever know when it's going to come. It could have been. I'm not, I'm not going to sweat it. I'm not going to worry about, you know, what could have been, what should have been. Dude, I, I felt like I caught some bad breaks. I caught two, I caught two pretty rough breaks. I didn't agree with yeah. uh, the, way the way the judge scored it. And it's okay. Don't mean I'm right. Don't make their wrong. It don't mean, it's it just, don't mean yeah, they were right just, either. Just didn't agree. Yeah. We just didn't, we didn't see things the same. Those things are going to happen. But I'll tell you what, uh, you ain't, I, I mean, I, I didn't slow me down from having a good time. Outside <laughs> of my dog getting tore up and me being worried and not being able to leave the camper, you know, putting yeah. a video camera on my dog, you know, things like that. Those are things I should not have to do. And those kind of things, if I'm worried about anything, that's, that's the only thing that worries me. Yeah was what happened and why did nobody come to me? Yeah, did nobody say nothing? Because like you said, you, you kind of got a feeling what the scenario is. You know, it, it, it's yeah. it's an accident, but somebody could have said something. You know, that, Well, somebody had to pull that. Somebody had to break dog, them up. Yeah, and and odds are that dog was on a lead because when you get when, – when, like, he, like, like what I feel like has happened was the dog had a hold of the cowboy by the ear, and when he pulled him yeah. from that lead apart, that's what pulled his – That's what pulled the, yeah, pulled the ear. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know – That's the only we got, thing that makes sense. We got there the – I think it was Sunday morning, and somebody backed into Nate's car. I mean, de- oh, you know, yeah. demolished the trunk and the quarter panel, and yeah. nobody said anything. So, you know, that's – and, and you know the crazy thing was the night before I was backing up. I was I was going to the house, and I backed up and I yeah. literally just barely bumped TJ's buggy. And yeah. the next morning, before we before we even noticed the car or anything like that, the first thing I did was flag him down and said, "Hey man, last night when I was leaving, I backed up. I said and I bumped your buggy. The tailgate was down and it caught you know just the corner of the bumper on the truck." Yeah. He just laughed. He's like, man, it's, he said, you ain't hurt nothing. He said, I didn't even yeah. know, ain't nothing wrong with it, you know, and which I knew there wouldn't, shouldn't be anything wrong with it. It didn't even knock the dirt off the truck. Right. But then, then but, we pulled down there and I seen the car like that. I was like, damn. Yeah. And like, like I wish, so, I wish, I wish there was more honest people in this world. Yeah. And that's know? what I was thinking the whole time. I was like, you know, I, I literally go out of my way to tell this man I, I, I had an accident yeah. and, then somebody, you know, somebody seen what happened. I mean, they oh, had yeah, to. They hear. had to. Have I seen the you, damage on that car? Yeah, I mean, like, it. Yeah. They it, they knocked the shit out of it, but I mean, it is what it is. Hey, it didn't stop our good time either. No, it, that's it. it I, I mean, you just you know, it just uh, it just sucks. Yep. That's all it does. It like you sucks. said, out of yeah. out of a thousand, yeah. there's only one or two. Yeah, there, there's there's so. There's so much good, it's not even worth talking yeah, about. Yeah, it, it ain't even worth it. Yep, that's right. No, so There's so much good. And the event, the event was awesome. Uh, you know, everything about it, man. It, the hog band is bigger and better and stronger. Yeah, it's, it's getting ever, better and better. And, yeah, I think it gets better every yeah, year. It does. And it that, does. It really does. And we got – this year we got to actually get sleep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, what – I think the latest we stayed up was what eleven, twelve o'clock one night. I mean, it wasn't well, you bad. know, you you messaged me a couple of times, and I was already at home in the bed at nine o'clock. Yeah, you know, one or two nights, uh-huh. I was like, dude, I'm getting because yeah. you know we're so used to staying up all hours, know. you know. And, and every, man, everybody, this, everybody, everybody was was saving themselves for yeah that one bad night, and I'm like, man, what are y'all doing? Yeah, it like, like it just like, rolled I'm on so now, smooth. I, I knew, I knew that like, I, so I always like the two dogs. Yeah. I'm like, you know, once the two dog gets going, the party is pretty much over. Yeah. You got to conserve that energy for me. But I'm telling you from, from the, from the puppy bay until that two dog starts, I am going to cut loose. Yeah. Well, see next year, that's what I'll have to do is just, you know, cause I don't bay any puppies or old and young or, or none of that very, yep. very seldom. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do the same thing. You know, we'll we'll hang out, and then when it gets to the two dog, then then I'll kind of I'll sandbag a little bit, and lay back. 
Yeah, yeah. Go to bed. <laughs> go to bed and try to all them other. And, uh, I'm uh, partying that's uh, right. for that one dog and all them other ones. There you we go. We had uh, Spencer Brunson come and play, and man, yep. that kid's good. Yeah, he's making moves too, man. I was watching a movie the other day. You know, I texted you. I was like, hey, I was watching this movie, and I seen Spencer in the movie. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. he was sitting on a stool playing his guitar, and I told my wife, I said, wait a minute. I said, I know that song. Yeah. And and then it, the the camera came around. I said, hell, that, I said, that's Spencer. And she said, are you sure? And then it, it zoomed in on him. I was like, it sure is. So, I mean, hey, y'all y'all look out for that youngin. He's, he's and making that, moves. In that, in that movie, did you see that hog? Yeah. You know that was my old hog. Really? Now, yeah, that's Piglet. Oh, hell. <laughs> He's at Jake's now. Piglet, man, yeah. is, a, is a big, uh, I mean, he is, he is a super nice to people, but God almighty, he will mess a dog up. Yeah, he, he don't like dogs, huh? But if you, no, he is like he, and he'll he'll stand there and let one bay him, but you bet you you touch him. Yeah, don't he's don't, relent- don't press him. Yeah, he's relentless if you touch him. But uh, yeah, that was Piglet, and uh, uh, he was at my house, man. And I I used to go get him out of the bay pen, walk him into my shop, scoop his feet up, and he would follow me back into the pen, and I'd feed him. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, if he if he bit me, he's bit me a couple of times, just like chewing on my pants leg, like, hey, yeah. drop the bucket. Yeah. I mean, he, he's ready you know? for some feed. Yeah, super good, super good hog, especially to work puppies on. He's smart. He won't mess up a puppy unless they're being idiots. And yeah. When he does, he just swats them, you know. That's right. But a grown dog, a grown dog, he knows the difference. He ain't he putting up with it. Not at all. Yep. Hell yeah. Well, man, I mean, we've, had a, we've had a pretty good long one on this. Yeah, we... Look. Yeah, people they're gonna they're gonna get sick and tired of me and you talking, man. Yeah, it what, happens. Yeah, hey, they don't like me anyway, so <laughs> they don't like you. <laughs> if they don't like you, then they got them, buddy. That's what I said. I know they don't like you. So, all right, man. Well, yeah. listen, we appreciate you. Uh, thanks for your time and, and thank you for supporting us, Randy. And I mean that a hundred percent. We look forward to you coming to hunt with us, and uh, I'm really really excited about the you're going to get to hopefully you'll get to hunt in the, in the tournament and uh, oh, dude, I'm if, if the you get there and you, you make a statement on that dude then then people really ain't going to like you yeah yeah they, they ain't going to they're going to be mad when I start winning tournament that's it and then you're going to have to go up you know another thousand dollars on them pups at least at least yeah I mean that's the least I can do no. <laughs> all right my brother well man we yes, appreciate sir. it and all y'all listeners, hey, y'all, y'all keep us in uh, in mind. Though when you get on social media, y'all make sure to check out Randy Darrell and Goose, uh, Showtime World, world Champion. Champion Goose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his Instagram is underscore World underscore Champion underscore Goose. Right on. That's his Instagram, and on on Facebook, he's just Goose. Yes, sir. And uh, y'all, y'all make sure to check out all the all the social media. Y'all check ours out. Give us a a like and subscribe. Um, we're we're getting to the point now where it, it, ours is starting to roll and grow. So the more that you guys can can support us by subscribing, liking, and playing these yeah. these videos and stuff like that, that will help us be able to do this more often and to keep you guys in. Until next, and we and we appreciate you, listeners. Thank you, Randy. And uh, until next time, we'll see y'all. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. I'll have a good one. We'll see you.